leftover beef. Is that the knot in your apron, strange Stella? Well, open up your eyes and a can of Franco-American mushroom gravy. Face those leftovers. Franco-American mushroom gravy is made with fresh sliced mushrooms. It's ready when you are. Just heat it for three minutes and turn cold roast into savory beef a la mushroom. Invite the neighbors. You're a hostess again. You've got all the good gravy you need anytime you want it. The quick ones from Franco American mushroom, beef, chicken, and giblet. Just eat and serve. It's the Franco American way. Whitney Young, the executive director of the Urban League, has told the American Association on Mental Deficiency that the Negro in this country is the victim more than anything else of massive apathy and indifference. But Young told a dinner meeting of the association at Boston that the white people of the United States now have a choice. The American Negro will either have to be a victim of conscious genocide, and here we can take our model after Adolf Hitler, or we will have to formalize apartheid, and here we can take our model after South Africa, or he must be freed and given the resources with which to achieve true equality, and here we can take as our model the American Constitution. But those are the choices, and they are today abundantly clear. Executive Director Whitney Young of the Urban League. Along the campaign trail, four presidential candidates will campaign in Indiana today in the final stages of that state's presidential primary set for next Tuesday. Former Vice President Richard Nixon speaks at an afternoon rally in Fort Wayne, then he'll address a rally later at Evansville before leaving that state. Minnesota Democratic Senator Eugene McCarthy's schedule calls for a plant tour and a noon speech at the Howard County Courthouse in Kokomo, a later afternoon talk at the Indiana University Medical Center at Indianapolis, then an evening address at Butler University, also in Indianapolis. Favorite Sun candidate Governor Roger Brannigan campaigns in southern Indiana today and also for tomorrow. New York Senator Robert Kennedy is to visit Greensburg, Madison, Crawfordsville, and Hobart today, and then he'll swing over to Terre Haute and return to Indianapolis later tonight for a series of appearances tomorrow. Meanwhile, crossover voting may play an important role in that Indiana primary, which dictates that write-in votes cannot be counted. Party crossover voting could also prove a big asset to Governor Roger Brannigan. Crossing over is not difficult in Indiana because Nixon has no opposition and Brannigan is personally popular with many Republicans. The governor just could receive substantial GOP support. On the labor scene, members of 16 local chapters of the Communication Workers of America in the Chicago area are to meet today to ratify a tentative agreement ending their strike against the Illinois Bell Telephone Company. But even if the new contract is approved by the membership, the union workers say they may stay away from their jobs to return a favor, if necessary, to the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers. The IBEW workers are presently threatening their own strike against Illinois Bell, set for May the 8th. More news in a moment. I'll bet there isn't a single girl listening to my voice who couldn't use a beautiful new dress for spring. And since that's the case, I have a wonderful surprise for you. This Sunday, the Chicago Tribune is printing the complete pattern for one of the loveliest styles of the season, the butterfly dress. And it's so easy to make, even a beginner can sew it herself in a matter of hours. Now, understand that there's nothing to send for. All you do is snip the full-size, ready-to-use pattern out of the Tribune, follow the easy instructions, and before you know it, you own an adorable new dress. The design is stunningly simple, with a cinched waist, a flared skirt, and wide, fluttery sleeves. Very becoming, and tailored to fit all standard junior and missus sizes up to size 15. So why just dream of a new dress, when you could be making your own? Get your pattern for the beautiful butterfly dress, complete with Sunday Chicago Tribune. In sports, the Boston Celtics have won the National Basketball Association Championship for the tenth time in 12 years. They beat Los Angeles last night, 124 to 109. The deciding games in the National Hockey League Western Division playoffs will be played tonight at St. Louis. The St. Louis Blues meet the Minnesota North Stars. WBBM's Radar Weather Command says for today, partly cloudy and cooler, high of 59 to 64, but cooler near the lake. Tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 43 to 48. And as we go into a weekend... For Saturday, partly sunny, little temperature change. High expected 59 to 64, but again, cooler near the lake. Current temperature, downtown Chicago, 
54 degrees. That compares to 65 in the northwest and the southwest suburbs. Our good grief department about the thief who stole the key to the front door of the police station at Loughborough, England. He returned it this week with a note saying, be more careful in the future. The theft of the key to the front door of the police station, by the way, occurred during the town's campaign against thievery. Tom Clark reporting this news summary, another in the 24-hour-a-day coverage of Top Stories. The next news at 12.58, bulletins at any second on the station where you hear the news first. WBBM News Radio 78. WBBM Chicago. Time now for the WBBM Radio Up to the Minute Stock Market Report. Here's the latest from the boardroom of E.F. Hutton and Company. Stock prices backed away from earlier highs in active trading today on the New York Stock Exchange. With advances now leading declines, 770 to 484, the unofficial Dow Jones averages now stand with industrials up 3.64 after being up 11 points in the first hour, rails up 0.61, utilities up 0.54. Trading volume continues very heavy. To noon was 12,370,000 shares. Among the most active stocks on the New York Stock Exchange, commercial credit was up an eighth, Occidental Petroleum was unchanged, and Chrysler was up three eighths. Prices show American Telephone 50 unchanged, Burroughs 217 and 7 eighths up two and a quarter. DuPont 162 down a half, IBM 690 down six, Motorola 135 down one and three quarters, RCA 53 that's unchanged, Sears Roebuck 70 and a quarter that's unchanged, Standard Oil of New Jersey 71 and 5 eighths down one quarter, United Airlines 43 up five eighths, U.S. Steel 40 and 5 eighths up a half. Xerox trading at 289 and three quarters, up one point. On the American Stock Exchange, some of the most active issues show Dyna Electron up an eighth, Bunker Ramo down an eighth, and Syntex at 69 and a half, up seven eighths. Other prices on the Amex show Data Processing and Financial 141 and a half, up four and a half, and National Video 18 and a quarter, down one quarter. Repeating the unofficial Dow Jones averages, industrials now up 3.64, rails up 0.61, utilities up 0.54. The New York Stock Exchange tape, which was 25 minutes late, is now catching up and is 13 minutes late. This is Wayne Pittner reporting for E.F. Hutton in Chicago. You've been listening to one of six WBBM Radio Daily Stock Market Reports direct from the boardroom of E.F. Hutton and Company. Our next report at 3.10 this afternoon. WBBM Radio now presents a special message by William C. O'Donnell, Vice President, CBS Radio Division, and General Manager, WBBM Radio. Monday, May the 6th, will mark a big change for WBBM Radio. This is the day that we will be known as News Radio 78. Many of you have written us commenting on this change in programming, and I'd like to explain to you a few of the reasons for our change. We feel that in this time of universal crisis and rapidly changing events, that we could best serve the people of this vast area by developing one of the finest broadcast news operations in the nation. And we therefore literally combed the country to bring together the best available talent, and I'd like to tell you something about this 50-man news team. There will be 14 broadcasters all of whom will spend time in the field reporting and interviewing. And there will be 10 broadcast street reporters who will cover city hall, education, police, politics, religion, economics, and many other areas of great concern to you, our listeners. Supporting these broadcasters and street reporters will be 14 inside writers and editors. There will be five producer researchers who will help dig behind the surface facts of the news. The local staff will also include two desk assistants, three college interns, and two news executives. Add to that our nine-man team of Weather Command private meteorologists and our five stock market reporters, and you have Mid-America's greatest news operation. No radio station in the entire country can top News Radio 78's commitment where it really counts, and that is in the reporters in the street and on the beats. News Radio 78 will put the meaning into the news. When the news is truly entertaining and amusing, you can be sure that News Radio 78 will have fun bringing it to you. From in-depth interviews every day and every night, to news specials and documentaries, 
to information for homemakers and sports fans. You'll get it all on News Radio 78. And we want you to be involved. We welcome your cards and letters with questions for our newsmen and broadcast specialists. And we invite your tips for our investigative reporters. We are open to your suggestions for stories. Think of WBBM News Radio 78 as your news and information radio station. And remember, it all begins Monday morning, May the 6th. And we certainly hope that you'll be listening. You have been listening to a special message by William C. O'Donnell, Vice President, CBS Radio Division, and General Manager, WBBM Radio. Eighteen minutes past twelve o'clock, time for part one of the Mal Belair Show, and here's Mal. Tom, I'll see you Monday morning at eleven o'clock. I'll be here. Tom and I are the eleven till three anchors in this News Radio 78. We want you all to be on hand to see what we have to say and what we have to do with this tremendous staff that you've just been hearing about from our leader, Mr. O'Donnell. I'll be, uh, it, it might be well to say, because I can understand the people who have been fans of yours for such a long time, Mal, saying, well, what happens to the things that we like Mal especially for, all the service feature areas and so on, and it might be a good time to say that they certainly are not going to lose this kind of thing. With that is new. important, and I, I'm glad you brought that up, Tom, because this can go right along with what we've been doing. Mm -hmm. No problem at all. Right. It's going to be a ball. I look forward to working with you, Thomas. I will, too. Now, oh, in this hour, we have a very special guest. She is a good friend from Miracle White. She is their home economist. Her name is Virginia White. It's Virginia White. And I would uh, invite all of you who've ever had laundry problems, stain problems, to give us a jingle. Now, I want you first, though, to hear what she has to say. She's going to touch two important areas on stain removal and laundry, and then we're going to go to work on the phones. I've got to pay the rent before she even gets to say hello to you, though. You know that. Shopping Bulletin from Sears. Today through Saturday, you can buy floor-length custom draperies for only $2.49 a yard with labor included, less than the regular price of the fabric alone. For example, an average window 120 by 90 inches long would cost you less than $45. Your choice of antique satins, boucles, or woven fabrics in 38 beautiful colors. Let me repeat that. Today through Saturday, Sears is offering custom-made draperies 81 inches or longer for just $2.49 a yard with labor costs included. A Sears Decorator Consultant will be happy to come to your home to show you how these draperies can be dramatically used on your windows and how little they will cost at two forty nine dollars a yard. Call or visit Sears Drapery Department now. This offer is limited from today through Saturday. Time for Diet Pepsi and our Girl Watchers theme. <laughs> Where the girls go, so go the girl watchers. And the girls' girl watchers watch, drink Diet Pepsi with the taste that beats the others cold. Diet Pepsi Cola. Try it. Someone will be watching. Well, Virginia, here I stand head over heels at the laundry tub, and there's a great big stain. Oh, what am I going to do? I bet you hear a lot of that. I certainly do, Mel. I certainly do every day. In fact, this morning I had a call from a lady. She wants to have her daughter wear her communion uh, headpiece Sunday, and I said, how old is it, 30 years old? And so I told her I couldn't guarantee it because tensile strength can become quite weakened and it may become frayed, but I gave her a little bit of tips, and I hope she's listening, and I hope by now the communion cap is all ready to go for Sunday. Telephones are going to be jumping around here like mad in just a couple of minutes. Now, you promised a few tips on stain removal. Where would you like to begin? Yes, Mel, I would like to give the ladies a briefing on uh, on stain removal because there are 50 uh, man-made fabrics in the market today. And because of this, and uh, stain becoming complicated by the, by the fabrics and the ingredients of the stains, there are a few general rules on stain removal. First, know your fabric and your stain remover. Identify the stain if possible. Treat a stain while it's fresh. And work carefully and quickly, and try the simplest method first. Cold water on non-greasy stains and a good dry cleaner for greasy ones. Avoid hot water or detergent on any stain that you don't know. And test the colored fabrics for possible color change. Use chemically sparingly. Repeated applications are better than soaking all at once. 
and rinse the chemicals from the cloth promptly. Don't rub too hard and use a light brushing moment. And if using a dry cleaner, work from the reverse side. This is a very good tip, Mel, because you don't impregnate the stain deeper into the fabrics by working from the reverse side with a dry cleaner. Up. You push uh -huh. it back up. I see. Isn't that nice? That's in a nutshell. That's now, how do you expect nutshell. me to remember all of that? <laughs> oh, I, I'm Well, that's going it. to be on our new stain chart, by the way, and they should be coming in this afternoon or Monday, and we have a beautiful, complete stain chart with laundry tips and stain removal tips, and anyone that would like one, all they have to do is write to my attention, Virginia White, 1741 Fullerton, care of the Miracle White Company, and I'll be happy to send them out. We are making them also available right through all of Dr. Kemp's programs fine, right here. Fine. So we're, we're going to get those stain removal charts out. I think women need to have these things. Just as soon as hands. if one's in yeah. this afternoon, I get back to the office, I'll mail you one. Good deal. All right. Now, uh, we got a long distance call that's come in. Uh, you want to give us a laundry tip. Would you, would you hold on just a second? Mm -hmm. Then the laundry tip. No, no. Uh, let's take her now. It's this a is long costing distance her call. Money, let's take sakes. it. Yes, go ahead, please. You're on the air. Hello. Hello. May I help uh, you? I'm calling about a problem with tar. Uh, my husband's work clothes, uh, he had tar in them. I didn't notice it before I put him into the washing machine. Oh, you did a lot of them already. Yes, and the um, tar came off in my dryer and is now stuck on the inside of the dryer. Oh, really? But how about the clothes? Did it come well, off? Well, they, they seem to come out all right. Mm -hmm. uh, but I'm just worried now about getting this tar out. I washed another load and dried it, and now I have tar on those clothes. Oh. which I will have to get off, but I didn't notice that it was stuck in the dryer. There's a big glob of it in the dryer itself, and it's mm -hmm. hard now, and I don't know how to take it off. You want to take it out of the dryer? Yes. All uh -huh. right, first take it out of the dryer. Uh, apply lard to it or uh, or white Vaseline, uh -huh. and uh, let it loosen, and then scrape it off with a dull knife so you don't scrape the enamel off the dryer. Yes. Now, uh, the spots on the other clothes that I washed, they're... Uh, Oh, nylon uh, mm -hmm. clothing, mm -hmm. and it went through the dryer, and uh, as I took it out, I noticed there's spots all over it with the tar. On uh, the clothes? Yes. Well, you can apply lard, regular lard, or the Vaseline on the clothes, too, to loosen it for about 30 minutes, and then pre-soak it in three or four gallons. Are there a lot of clothes? Oh, no, about five shirts. About five shirts? Mm -hmm. Well, then a half a washer full of real hot water if you had to boil some from the stove. Yes. And add, uh, of course, you have to add... Uh, about a half a cup of Miracle White Super Cream to it, yes. and put about three quarters of a cup of a non-chlorine perbrate uh, uh, bleach, yes. and a low sizing detergent, and agitate the washer and pre-soak them. But for the dryer, use the Vaseline or the lard to loosen it and scrape it off with a dull knife, being careful so you don't harm the uh, enamel. Mm -hmm. And then use a, a, a little, uh, do you have one of these little cooking, uh, you know, that you launder, that you can wash your uh, pans with, these little scraping pans? A very that. soft, pliable one, though, not with the wire to it, that the soap pads. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But not with the, those that have a mesh to it. There are some soap pads that are looking like a sponge. Uh, how about the plastic? Uh, fine, fine. That's yeah. just as good. Uh huh. <clears throat> well, thank you very much. All righty, dear. Good luck to you. Sorry you got such an involvement oh, going. Oh, what a mess. Yeah, that is a mess. Thank <laughs> so you What a so mess. Much. Okay, bye. <laughs> Her husband ought to take her out to dinner, that's for sure. Mm. Okay, we'll take just a moment now. He wants some laundry tips, and then we'll be happy to take your calls here for the rest of the hour at Mohawk 49000, so start them in. You know, I get a big kick out of working for the different clients I represent here on the station. Here's one, Chung King. Chung King, oh, many years ago, uh, I remember them with Stan Freeberg. I imagine you all do. They've gone a long way since those days of bringing out new products. Now Chung King has out complete frozen entrees, complete meal so that you can go into a store and you can pick up half a dozen different complete frozen Chungking dinners. Now, these are not just blah old uh, 1955 frozen food dinners. This is 1968. The technique of flash freezing now is vastly improved. If you want the divider uh, pack, uh, Chungking food, fine. We have a number of those two waiting for you. We have soy sauce and chow mein noodles and frozen fried rice. These things are just so good you ought to try them. The name is Chung King, and one taste is worth 10,000 words. That's an old Chinese philosopher's statement, isn't it? It certainly happens to be true in the area of Chung King. Young man, I have had one of Bell's Savings' fabulous five and a quarter percent savings certificates for exactly one year. Mm hmm, Mr. Benny, you put in $10,000 and bingo, you earned $525. I know, I know. Now, I'd like to withdraw a dollar ten of my earnings, please. Bell is happy to serve. Well, in case you're wondering, 
I'm meeting a friend of mine for lunch, and it's my turn. <laughs> Bell Savings, the Weather Bell Corner, Monroe and Clark. It's made for your electric percolator. New Manor House Electric Perk Grind Coffee. Perk up. Now, what can you do with us on special laundry tips, Virginia? All right. Now, I'm going to speak a little fast so we can have some time to get in some calls from the ladies. But general rules on laundering, ladies. The first rule of washability is to read the label because the manufacturers of garments should put the fiber content and the washing instructions on the label, and label saving should become very habitual. Do not age soil laundry, especially permanent press articles, because permanent press is resin treated under intensive heat, and any stains that should become embedded in them, dirt, soil, grease, if allowed to remain more than two days, they should be only be worn once, but if allowed to remain in the laundry hamper more than two days, this is giving that dirt and grease a chance to get more and more deeply embedded into the fabric, so launder them frequently. Never use a chlorine bleach on any permanent press or synthetic articles. And spandex, also, ladies, spandex, any garments, a bras, girdles containing spandex or a lycra, become yellowed whether they are worn or not. If you own two or three girdles, and most of us ladies own at least seven bras, don't let them lie around in the drawer. Launder them, and launder them using Miracle White Super Cleaner and a non-chlorine powdered bleach and hot water, and you can have them restored in no time. Incidentally, Mr. Singer, the president of Miracle White, is a very dear friend of Heloise. I'm sure you've heard of oh, Heloise certainly. and her household. Hits. And he visited with her a couple of weeks ago, and she was quite elated as to what Miracle White Super Cleaner can do with spandex garments. And she said she has many, many ladies asking her for this tip, and she's quite happy about the entire thing. So, ladies... Don't leave your girdles and bras lay around in a drawer. Launder them, and you can remove the yellowing from spandex. And um, use a warm water rinse on cottons, linens, towels, and sheets, and a cold rinse on wash and wear, nylon lingeries, and sheer curtains. And you will have a good, clean laundry if you will follow these instructions. And by the way, these are on the stain chart, too. Got to have that because the old mental computer is trying to keep up, but <laughs> there are a lot of things to remember. All That's right? right, let's take some calls now, shall let's we, do. Virginia? Uh, Virginia White, home economist from Miracle White. This is WBBM and WBBM-FM in Chicago. These are things we talk about a lot on Dr. Kim's show, certainly around the station. We've had a lot of fun watching Miracle White be so tremendously successful. And uh, you're our first guest on the air. Go ahead. Uh, hello, Miss White. Yes, may I uh, help you? Uh, I hope so. Uh, I, I have some black plastic goop in the back of my son's wash and wear shirt. Plastic goop? Plastic goop, yes. Now you mean uh, like from uh, these little uh, these uh, uh, thing makers and, and oh, that sort of those thing. little edible things or yes, those monster except things? Except they're not edible. <laughs> is it uh, is it gummy or soft now? No, I got all the gummy part off mm -hmm. of it, but the stains are still there. Th did you try any dry cleaner? No, I haven't tried a dry cleaner. I tried the Miracle White, of mm -hmm. course, and that didn't work. Uh -huh. Well, loosen it first with some glycerin. Glycerin. And then, and then uh, leave that glycerin stand on it for about half an hour, and then scrape off as much more as you can that will become loosened with a dull knife, and then launder it using uh -huh. the super cleaner and a non-chlorine bleach and a low-sudsing detergent. And do I use a, a warm water on that? Uh, what kind of material did you say, permanent press? It, it's uh, Daycron and cotton. You can use a hot water at least 145 degrees because non-chlorine bleach doesn't become activated unless the water is that hot. It will become activated if you allow the clothes to stay for about two hours, but it, it becomes evac activated immediately if the water is at least 145 degrees. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yes, maybe, could you help me with one other thing? This isn't a stain problem, but do you know how to set colors in material? Set? Yes. After you have re-dyed something? Well, uh, I have a new some new material, and I unfortunately washed one dress with the other things, thinking that it was washable, which mm -hmm. it is, mm -hmm. but the uh, the colors ran. Now I have another one, and I don't want that to happen the first time. Then uh, uh, then that wasn't really truly color fast, but you may try this, white vinegar in water. A solution of vinegar in water usually will help to set the color. All right. Thank you very much. All righty, dear. Bye. We'll take another call here at Mohawk 49000 in just a moment. Today through Saturday, tomorrow... You can buy a famous 14-cubic-foot cold-spot refrigerator-freezer combination complete with automatic ice maker for just $197. That refrigerator section is 11 cubic feet big and has automatic defrosting. 
A separate freezer section will hold over 100 pounds of food. And with the automatic ice maker, you'll never run out of ice cubes. Summer's coming, you know. All this for only $197. No money down with Sears' easy payment plan. This offer ends tomorrow, so you better get over to Sears. The old refrigerator maybe needs to be replaced with something new. Ooh, that ice feature is great, isn't it? Now, where do you get New Mill noodles? The New Mill Kluski noodles? You get them at the A&P, the Centrella, Certified, Dominic's, Grosserland, Hillman's, Jewel, Kroger, National, and Weebolt's. All I can hope for every one of my products is distribution like this. This is a great, great noodle. You don't get emotional about a noodle, Bolaires? Well, if you're the man who's built the company, you certainly do. And you get mighty pleased at seeing the reaction of people all across the country, not just here in Chicago. Although the truth of the matter is, the new mill, Kluski Noodle Company, did begin right here in Chicago. Oh, they're really round. Are they round. really round? They are really round in the good old Polish tradition. Uh, a Kluski Noodle's <laughs> got to be a round one, Virginia. I'm holding you my finger up like a, a nice zero. Round one. Yeah. <laughs> We also have the polka noodles. Those are the flat ones. Oh, really? And all extra widths. You're the expert on stains. I'm the noodle expert. You sure are. <laughs> all right. Go ahead now. You're on the air. We're at uh, National for the next 10 minutes doing some grocery shopping, picking up some noodles and things. Go ahead. What's the problem? Hello. Hello. I accidentally bleached a white oil on shirt of my babies, and the body of the shirt is yellow, whereas the sleeves are still white. I'd like to know how to make the whole shirt white again. And uh, the whole shirt is yellow to begin with. I mean, no. was white to begin with. Yes. Uh, boil it uh, on a, in a in an enamel pot on the stove. Uh, fill it with uh, water and bring it to a boil. And when it starts to boil, add a half a cup of Miracle White and three quarters of a cup of a non-chlorine bleach, and immerse the shirt and boil it slowly for half an hour. Then pour these into a, this contents into a basin and add your detergent and launder it, and dry it outside if you can, but not in the sun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Good luck now. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hello. Uh, yes. I've been trying to solve this problem for about 20 years. Oh, my. <laughs> this is a <laughs> bad one. My husband is a tool and dye maker, and I can't seem to get his aprons clean. Uh, you know, they're very greasy, and he brings them home once a week. And uh, what are these, these uh, like white or yes, blue they're denim? White. Or they're blue, white. Uh, like a denim apron? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Use a heavy-duty laundry liquid uh, laundry detergent first and pre-treat it while it's dry. Or uh, or a dry cleaner, but I would suggest because there will be quite a there is quite a bit of grease because my brother is a tool and dye maker also. Uh -huh. So use a liquid laundry detergent, a real heavy liquid yeah. laundry detergent, and pour it directly onto it. Rub it with uh, a soft brush and uh -huh. leave it stand for half an hour. And then throw it into the machine with real hot water and three quarters of a cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner and a non chlorine bleach. Oh, I see. And pre soak it for five minutes. Agitate the washer, then pre soak it for about forty five minutes, and then put it through its cycle. All right, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Hmm, nice to even have a brother who's a tool and dime oh, yes. maker. Yes, you, you learn gotta all have about everybody in the yourself. family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, all right, go ahead. What's your problem? Hello. Hi, I've got a problem with a white Acrylon carpet that's uh -huh. uh, only about six months old. And about three months ago, or sometime, I don't remember exactly when, I thought I spilled something on it. I got down on my hands and my knees and I looked for it and I couldn't find what I had spilled. I think it was a salad oil or meat juice or something. It seems to have oil. Oil? Anyway, at first I couldn't find the stain. I, it, it didn't show up and I couldn't feel it in the carpet and then slowly... But it's surely, turning kind of yellowish. It's turning uh, actually gray, black, brown, uh -huh. where these little spots are. Uh -huh. And I tried uh, a stain remover that's meant for synthetic things, but it didn't touch it. It didn't do a bit of good. Uh -huh. And I just wonder, will I ever be able to get it out? You uh, did you try any dry because it's an oily base? Did you try any dry cleaner first? Uh, can I mention a brand name? Yes, <laughs> I tried the K two R. Well, that's is that the spray or the bottle? I used a uh, spray and some paste that comes in a tube. Mm hmm. Well, try a uh, uh, a good carbon tetrachloride. I see. And then mix a solution of a half a pail of warm water to a half a cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner. Uh, One half cup of Miracle White. Mm -hmm. okay. One fourth cup of liquid dishwashing detergent, gentle detergent, a good dishwashing detergent like Lux or Ivory. Mm -hmm. And take a sponge and squeeze it in your hands in this solution until you make a real thick lather and then squeeze the excess water off and then wa launder it. Mm -hmm. And brush it off in that manner. Okay. All righty, dear. That sounds great. Thank you very Just much. Just don't go uh, breathing that carbon tetrachloride. No. <laughs> Keep your doors oh, open. What? Don't breathe carbon tetrachloride. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> you know about the safety rules on carbon tet. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Very good. Very good. All right. I was sailing along. All right. Let's right. see. Frying chickens at National, 28 cents a pound. <whistles> Remember, I talked to Chef Louis Schatzmarie from the bakery the other day, and I said, what's a good deal? And he said, chicken, chicken, I have chicken. to get some. My son is coming in from Germany in two Isn't weeks. that Got to fill my freezer. Oh, uh, back from... Four years. Four years of duty in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, won't that be a kick to get home? Fourteen years he's in the service. Maybe she's getting some pork chops, too, huh? Oh, yes, nice thick ones. 68 cents a pound, national. Cheap. Ground chuck, rib steak, cube steak, all kinds of things. Country ribs, barbecued spare ribs. I imagine most of you gals have got your own recipe for barbecued spare ribs. They are great. I like to do them outside. My wife does them quite often in the oven, and I always say to her, they're not quite the same. We have quite a thing going. When I'm doing the cooking outside or she's doing the cooking inside, we're getting on toward that season. And believe me, at all the nationals, you'll find the things that you want for preparing meals outside. you got to have things like charcoal. You have to have the right kind of foods. You have to feed families for warmer weather. We're in the May. Oh, happy day. So let's get over to national and let's save some money. And by all means, let's pick up at least three of those pints of strawberries for only a dollar. And wine sap apples? The three-pound bag for 59 cents. I'm just looking at different ads that were in the paper yesterday. Oh, uh, Mel, before we take another call, I'd like to tell the ladies that I'm going to have a syndicated column in the newspaper, by the way. Congratulations. I didn't tell you this. It, it will be in small dailies and weeklies throughout the entire United States, and I'm sure if those ladies get the paper and read it, they'll be very pleased because there's a lot of questions and answers there that we couldn't possibly cover in the short time that I'm going to be with you. Let's try to do some more, shall okay. we? Okay. Go ahead, Hello, please. Hello, may I help you? Miss White, um, yes. on Tuesday, I washed a pair of fiberglass drapes yes. along with my other laundry. They weren't too soiled, mm -hmm. but I had a terrible problem. What all was my, it? All my children were itching. You washed the fiberglass drapes with other clothes? Yes. This is something that you should never, never do. This is a no. This is like telling your little child no, no when he's learning to crawl and pick himself up and knock ashtrays and something over. These should be laundered separately, dear, because... Uh, I realize that now, but the problem is I have laundered the... I, I found out what the problem was, mm -hmm. and then I, I have re-laundered all the other clothes, and it still seems to be right in the fabric. And a little boy came home at lunchtime today, um, and this, I washed his undershirt, and he was itching all over. You're going to have to boil them, dear. To try to get those little bits of glass out, and if they don't, if they continue and they don't get it out, I'm afraid that you just have a problem that you're just going to have to discard them. Uh -huh. And even if you launder fiberglass drapes, by the way, in your washer after you are through laundering them, uh -huh. always fill the washer with hot water and put it through a cycle to get those little bits of glass out of the washer so you don't have that problem again. Okay, thank you very much for your call. And now I'll move to you. You're on the air. Hello. All right, hello. Yes. Yes, what I would like to ask is on the t shirts and the shorts. I can't seem to, to get them pure white. T-shirts and shorts. And the T-shirts, you know, with the stain uh, from perspiration. Uh-huh. Uh, you're talking about underneath the arm now? Only yes, on the T-shirts? only underneath the arm, yes. Well, perspiration stains, new ones, fresh ones, are usually of acid, and older ones are alkali. Oh. And uh, to, if they are older stains, sponge them with white vinegar before laundering. And newer stains, as soon as they... Uh, Take the garment from the body, uh, rinse that area with cold water, hang it up to dry before putting it in the clothes hamper so you don't have mildew, and that's another bad stain. Uh -huh. And then you won't have this problem. I see. And uh, to wa is it, is it uh, good to wash it with uh, warm water or real hot water? Real hot, hot water. water. You live in Chicago, I presume? No. Where do you summer. live? In the, uh Oh, summer. you have a little bad water out there. Yes. Yes. Now, the grayness is because your water is hard. Uh, uh, well, I usually go to the laundromat, mm -hmm. so they usually have water softeners. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, laundry. they do. But then you might have a buildup of suds in your clothes, too. Oh. Try the, the suds removal test by filling your, your washer with uh, hot water and just adding one cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner and putting the clothes in. And see, the suds come to the top. Now, this will remove suds and then take it from there and start all over again doing your laundry. And please do not just pour these the detergent out of a box. Measure what the label states, and you won't have this problem. Okay, good luck to you now. Thank you very much for the call. Here's Virginia. You're on the air. Hey, hello. Hello. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm having trouble with my husband's old T-shirts and underwear mm -hmm. turning yellow, and mm -hmm. I believe I heard you mention in one of the previous shows uh, in regard when bleach and Miracle White no longer work to use a stripping agent first. 
No. No? Uh, you can use uh, Miracle White with the bleach, but I don't personally advocate the constant use of chlorine bleaches because they are uh, reducing bleaches and they break the tensile sense, uh, strength of the fiber and eventually tear the clothes. Try the real, real hot water and pre-soaking with just Miracle White and non-chlorine bleach and a low sudding detergent. And that should do it. That should do it. And incidentally, send for our stain chart and you'll have all these little goodies on it. Oh, fine. Very Mark good. it to my attention. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. We'll take another call in just a moment. Well, National's all-new mailer booklet lets you redeem valuable coupons for extra S&H green stamps. I'm sure you're well aware of that, aren't you? You get 50 extra stamps with any size liquid or concentrate Prell shampoo. You can also get top-quality merchandise listed in National's mailer booklet at low prices, like Royal Satin 12-ounce thermo tumblers for only 29 cents each with every $3 purchase. Use National's mailer booklet today for hundreds of stamps and special merchandise. These are great people and fine stores, and there are 234, I think, of them in the Chicagoland area alone, better than 850 in the middle part of the United States. So wherever you live, wherever you're listening to us right now, I'm sure there has to be a national in your neighborhood. You get low prices and fine food and all kinds of extra things, too. We're giving away in our area over a million different gifts. There are bikes and supplies of food and all kinds of things. This is part of the, the whole story when you make the big switch and come on over to National. At the PGA Golf Tournament in Palm Beach, Florida, our coffee wagon served Sanka coffee to people without their knowing it. Here is Mrs. Ed Kerouac. You like my coffee? Your coffee's good. Really? Yeah. It's Sanka coffee. Are you kidding? Were you surprised by the taste of it? It tastes like real coffee. Well, Sanka's real coffee. How much coffee do you drink a day, Mrs. Kerouac? Dozen. <laughs> really? Can I heat it up for you, Mrs. Kerouac? You've got a convert. <laughs> In fact, I'm sure you've got a convert. This is a wonderful cup of coffee. I've never tried saying it because I never, I thought because it had no caffeine in it that it just simply wouldn't taste like coffee. That's Isn't wonderful. that funny? You know, caffeine doesn't change the taste of coffee. No, so I gather. Surprising Sanka coffee, 97% caffeine free. But people are learning caffeine adds no taste to coffee. Sanka coffee, instant and ground. Fine coffee from General Foods. All right, you're on the air. May we have your question? Thank you very much. I was wondering uh, what uh, you think of the uh, cold water washes. Are they any good, and can they be used with Miracle White? Well, yes, you can use cold water with Miracle White. Now, you live in the Chicago area? In Skokie. In Skokie. Well, you have Chicago water. You can. I mean, this is your prerogative to use cold water. Oh, you but can. if you are going to be using a non-chlorine bleach, as you would uh, on a spandex or lycra garments mm -hmm. or synthetics, you would have to use water at least 100 and 45 degrees because you should use a non-chlorine bleach with these particular fabrics to keep them from yellowing. I see. May I ask one more question? Mm -hmm. How do you remove nail polish from a cotton colored dress? Nail polish? Mm -hmm. um, glycerin. Oh. To loosen. Oh. Uh -huh. oh fine. Thank or you me. can even try, from a cotton dress, you can even try the nail polish remover. Oh. Well, that's a good idea. Thank and then you so much. All righty. Go ahead. You're on. Hello. Hello, uh, my son had uh, an accident on our gold couch and turned the urine turned it red. Is there any? Is this is this a lost cause or what? What did you do in the beginning? As well, soon as I, it I happened? tried to blot it up with the cold water and a sponge, but mm -hmm. uh, it seemed the more I blotted, the more the color came out. What color is the couch? It's uh, supposed to be gold. Well, kind of see, gold urine color. urine contains acid. Uh huh. And uh, this should be taken care of immediately as far as the cold water and then make the solution as I told the other lady with the half a pail of warm water and the half a cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner and a fourth of a cup of uh, liquid uh, dishwashing detergent and uh, if that doesn't do it then I would get a hold of a real good reliable couch cleaner uh, upholstery cleaner upholstery cleaner uh huh you don't think that the ammonia took the color out and there's no it may to have it? that's why I suggested that uh, you contact uh, a person that does the cleaning of upholstery of carpeting and, and ask them. Because okay. if it has changed the color, it, it definitely must have, the acid must have changed the color content in it. Okay, thank you very much. Alrighty. Thank you for the call. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, uh, about two months ago, I spilled uh, a bowl of salad over the side of the table and it hit the wall. And I have uh, grease stains on the wall now and I've even tried painting over them and I can't get them off. Really? Yeah. What, uh, what is this, a drywall or a plastered wall? It's uh, 
Now right, we're going into, right. into, I'm going into decorating. You're spreading out, that's right. <laughs> I'm spreading out. Is it a drywall, dear, or a plastered? Uh, I believe it's plastered. Plaster? It's, you know what a drywall is. It's a plasterboard. No, this is plastered. A plastered wall. Yeah. Well, I, I would... I think it's a, a very cheap paint, though. Mm -hmm. You know, because if I, I've used, uh, a couple of, uh, Stain removing products. And Stanley, and, we're visiting uh, Walgreens now. Uh -huh. It uh, it just hasn't done a thing except take the paint off. <laughs> really? Well, I don't know what to do about it. This uh, with the grease, you should have uh, tried to use a, a a dry cleaner on it first, and then with a real hot solution of of like a, a Soilax. Now I'm going into another product because <laughs> you've asked me something that's not laundering clothes, oh. but I want to help you anyway. <laughs> this is what I try to do with it. Well, I tried right away to take it mm -hmm. off, and nothing nothing mm -hmm. helped. Uh -huh. So I just thought maybe you might have a suggestion. Well, that's the only suggestion I can have, dear. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank Sorry. You. Thank you very much. Well, we're at Walgreens, as I said a moment ago. Walgreens for Mother's Day cards, for presents, for prescriptions to be filled, for ice cream. And now beauty truly begins with your bath. This is a quote from Walgreens. They are talking about Desert Flower Beauty Bath the wonderful skin-softening Shelton product that transforms the driest skin to petal softness. It's a luxury. Right now, yours at half price. One twenty-five for the two fifty size. It's a nice buy. It's a real beauty treat. You just toss a cap full of beauty bath into the tub and see your skin bloom underwater. See chapped hands and chafed legs and sandpapery elbows become beauty smooth. And there's a bonus, too. The lovely desert flower fragrance that lingers and lingers. That's desert flower beauty bath, pure pleasure if your skin is dry. Get fabulous oil replenishing desert flower beauty bath today, half price, the two fifty size one and a quarter, or the five dollar size for only two fifty. Both at Walgreens. And you're on the air. What's the problem? Oh, the problem is this: my son has done a real great job of doing his own clothes in the laundromat at college, except that he washes everything together, colored and white. Mm -hmm. And the whites, of course, his t-shirts and the other whites are, are all in a real complete mess. Oh, you mean they've transferred the color onto some of them? Uh, well, they, they're sort of grayish, you know. I mean, um, dirty gray. <laughs> now, if his, if his dress shirts are uh, no, white. He has, this he hasn't done, but uh, oh. it's the uh, underclothing and the other things that he has. Pre-soak for a good hour in real hot water and add boiling water to it from your own kitchen range to a full cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner. A one full cup of non-chlorine bleach. One full cup of uh, Miracle, Miracle White Super White. Clean. Cleaner. The, uh, one full cup of non-chlorine powdered bleach. Non-chlorine. Thank you. That's. I think that's where. I that's where he's trouble. making a mistake. I did it before, and uh, uh, they developed holes uh -huh. all over his. Uh, oh sure. And, uh, and 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 then and a detergent, half a cup of detergent, pre-soak for an hour, and then put through its cycle. Okay. And fine. you'll have to teach him how to wash clothes. Well, <laughs> he does a good job. But, and uh, send in for the hurry. stain chart too, by the way. Yes, I will. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead, you're on the air. Hello. Recently, I placed a white sweater in a bleach solution, and oh. it turned a yellowy color with these yellow stains. Yes, it would. I was wondering if any way I can whiten that sweater again. Now, bring water to a boil in the, on the stove, pour it in a plastic container, add a half a cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner, mm -hmm. and well, three quarters of a cup of non chlorine powdered bleach, and a liquid dishwashing detergent, about a fourth of a cup. Immerse the sweater. After a half an hour, add a little, if the water is still too hot to handle by hand, add a little cold water that you can work with your hand and squeeze the solution through with your hands. Rinse thoroughly. Do not wring out the sweater. Roll the sweater in a towel to remove the excess water. Either hang outdoors to dry in the shade only or inside away from the sun. Oh, fine. Thank you. Alrighty. I think that is about all the time we'll have. Isn't Here, we, we can get one list? more, one more. Real, real fast one. Is she on uh, line two? Yeah. Uh, hello, ahead. real fast. Uh, hello. Yes. I have a good white uh, a bathroom bath towel, and I had it hanging in the bathroom, and my daughter came home from college, and she did her washing, and she hung a orange dress right up against the bath towel. And it transferred colors. And okay, it, now hold on. Boil it. Let Virginia tell you what to do. Yes. Boil it, dear. The trans now, it has transferred the color, so boil it. Bring water to a boil and put three quarters of a cup of Miracle White Super Cleaner in it and three quarters of a cup of non chlorine bleach and boil it for about a half an hour. Okay. Now I can't promise because uh, that's a dye. 
It just proves one thing. A gal's got to be a jack-of-all-trades. She's got right. to be a chemist. She's got to understand a lot of things, and she sure does have to follow a lot of directions. She huh? sure does. Virginia, nice to see you again. Nice uh, to see you're you, You're looking too. great, and give my regards to all the boys out at the plant, and tell them to keep pumping out that miracle one. Oh, we've got a lot of real goodies. And that we have some new products soft. coming out. Uh, we'll be anxious to mm -hmm. hear and anxious to tell everybody. Regards to Bernie and to Leo and all the fellas. And please there, give and the ladies Captain. my address again, would you, Mel? Say it yourself. WBBM Radio Chicago. And then we'll just send it right out to you. Either there or 1741 Fullerton, the Miracle White Company. Now we got to run. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Followers of the Dragnet show this season may have noticed that Sergeant Friday tracked down an unusually rich collection of female villains. There was the society woman who stole Jade, the lady janitor, the queen of the gypsies, the evangelist, all different and none of them up to any good. They all got what was coming to them, and they all had something else in common, too, because they were all played by Virginia Gregg. <laughs> This is Dimension in Hollywood. Ralph Story here reporting for CBS Radio from California. The rewards of having a face no one remembers after this message. If you think a dollar isn't what it used to be, spend it on Campbell's soup. A great soup at a great price. That's Campbell's tomato soup. Still more than 20 big servings for one dollar. And that buys you the richest, reddest, best tomato soup you'll ever taste. Wait till you taste that fresh tomato flavor. Campbell's Tomato Soup. Less than five cents a bowl and mmm, good. If you think a dollar isn't what it used to be, spend it on Campbell's Soup. Virginia Gregg is a pretty well-dressed blonde. There's a hint of the young society matron about her, and people are always saying, don't I know you from somewhere? Well, they know her all right, because Virginia has appeared on almost every dramatic series on television and an impressive list of movies, but she also has a face that people don't quite remember. And with makeup and a startling repertoire of voices, she can do all the acting she wants without any viewers complaining about seeing too much of Virginia Gregg. Just this season, she's played six different lady wrongdoers on Dragnet. Apparently not a single fan noticed they were all the same girl. Virginia says her career as a lawbreaker for Jack Webb began on the radio version of Dragnet. She played everything from 10-year-old boys to 80-year-old women. She was in 13 of the original Dragnet television episodes and the feature-length movie Webb made. She turned up regularly on Perry Mason. One week, she was a frontier hussy on Gunsmoke. The next week, a weather-beaten wife on the Virginian. And again, no one ever seems to suspect it's the same girl beneath that calico. Virginia held off from commercials for a long time, believing they might be bad for her career as an actress. But one night, the family was watching a television dramatic show featuring the trials of a pitiful lady, and at the very end, one of her three sons looked up and said, Hey, Mom, is that you? Well, it was, but Virginia decided that if her own son didn't recognize her in an hour-long show, certainly she could do all the commercials she wanted without hurting her image. It's worked out pretty well, but she says one trouble with television commercials today is that the big-name actresses are scrambling for them, too, and the competition is getting pretty rough. In addition to appearing on your favorite television program, it's also likely Virginia Gregg has piped you aboard your airplane. That story in just a minute. Melons, nice and juicy melons. Hey, try a melon, lady. Go ahead, squeeze them. That's how you test melons. Nice, You huh? can squeeze a melon. But how do you test a jar of powdered creamer? You look for the preem label. In one of the largest taste tests ever conducted, Preem beat the other two leading brands by as much as three to one. Richer, lighter Preem. Only 11 calories per teaspoon. It's already tested for you. The people who help the cola companies take the calories out of colas and keep the good taste in... are the very same people who make Sucaril, America's favorite no-calorie sweetener. Sucaril. It figures. Just to show you the kind of jobs a girl with a voice can get, if you've ever taken a TWA flight from any airport anywhere in the country, you may remember that low, pleasant female voice saying, TWA flight so-and-so leaving in so many minutes. Now, that isn't a receptionist at that airport. That's Virginia Gregg in Hollywood. 
She's recorded all the flight announcements for every one of that airline's terminals. And the day we talked to her, she was preparing to leave for the recording studio. She said she was going to open up two new Midwestern airports. This is Dimension on the CBS Radio Network. And until tomorrow, this is Ralph Story here reporting in Hollywood. Now from WBBM News Radio 78, Mal Valeres with local stories at 1258, brought to you by the Sears 33 Chicagoland stores. An estimated 60 Negro students have barricaded themselves in the Northwestern University Financial Office building in Evanston, protesting to use their words, quote, the entire Negro situation on the Northwestern campus. Evanston Police Lieutenant James Gillespie said the university hasn't asked city police to step into the situation. He said the protest has been peaceful so far, but several school officials were barred from entering the building. Three persons are believed to have died in a fire at 3629 Low Avenue. The scene is only a short distance from the home of Chicago Mayor Richard Daley. Authorities said the blaze erupted around the noon hour. The purpose is not yet clear, but about 100 Harper High School students walked out of school this morning and began marching toward the rival St. Rita Catholic High School. Police converged on the march to prevent trouble. It broke up before reaching its destination. A late report from Alan Crane, WBBN newsman, indicates that 12 white students have now occupied the Dean of Students' office at Northwestern University. Do you know how hard Chicago's water is? About seven grains per gallon in the city, as high as 40 grains of hardness in the suburbs. Yet most Chicago families now know the value of soft water, such as for more refreshing bathing, softer laundry, and easier household cleaning. But do you know that Sears Citation Water Softener is now on sale? And this is Sears' lowest price ever for a fully automatic softener with a large 13,000 grain daily capacity and can be programmed to regenerate one to seven times per week. This week only, Sears' low price is $149.88 for a fully automatic softener. Hurry in. The sale is a good one. WBBM and WBBM-FM, Chicago. This is CBS News. The place is Paris. The United States agrees to preliminary peace probe in the French capital, spurring a wave of approval from the Vatican to Wall Street. Heart transplants, Britain's first one is underway. Another one has been performed in Houston, Texas. The president, Mr. Johnson, scores Congress for not acting quickly enough on his tax increase. These and other top stories of this hour on CBS Radio News. This is Reed Collins, CBS News, New York. Paris, that must be the place. Hanoi proposed and President Johnson accepted Paris today as the site for preliminary peace talks to begin one week from today if arrangements can be made by then. Mr. Johnson, announcing acceptance by the United States this morning, said he must caution that these talks are designed solely to consider bombing policy in the North. Hanoi has insisted that all bombing be stopped before any serious discussion of the larger issues can be held. But the fact of a place and a date drew applause from the world sidelines. Buffon of the United Nations said it was the best piece of news he's heard for a long time. The Vatican agreed. The South Vietnamese government ratified Paris as a good place to talk. And the French government says it's elated. The stock market reacted with an orgy of trading, a near record first hour. Prices shot up and then they began to recede until at this hour they're just about where they began this morning. More news in a minute. In 1950, Sucaril became the first no calorie sweetener to really taste like sugar. And ever since, it's been America's favorite. Now you'll find Sucaril sweeteners in soft drinks, jellies, canned fruit, salad dressings, desserts, you name it. These days, there's hardly a kitchen without a sucreal sweetener somewhere. Ah, home sweet home. Good morning, madame. Would you like some hot, fresh bread today? Baked this morning. Here, smell. See how fresh... You can smell fresh-baked bread. But how do you test a jar of powdered creamer? You look for the Preem label. In one of the largest taste tests ever conducted, Preem beat the other two leading brands by as much as three to one. Richer, lighter Preem. Only 11 calories per teaspoon. It's already tested for you. Nobody is saying yet where the Parisian meetings will be held. Some possible sites would be a chateau at Rambouillet, southwest of Paris, where President de Gaulle frequently entertains, and a chateau de Jean, southeast of the city. Of course, there is the big empty building left when NATO pulled out of Paris. 
Whether a communist delegation would set foot inside a NATO headquarters, even an abandoned one, is problematical. The people in the negotiations, though, are well known. Ambassador Averill Harriman for the United States, a millionaire who's devoted his life to public service and who now is 76, and a man named Wan Thu for Hanoi, a former foreign minister who has been chief of the North Vietnamese propaganda agency lately and who recently was brought out of retirement by Hanoi in anticipation of these negotiations. Thu is 56. President Johnson flew to Kansas City today to meet former President Truman, whose 84th birthday comes up next week. But before he left Washington, Mr. Johnson borrowed some of Mr. Truman's former rhetoric with respect to the Congress. Mr. Johnson bluntly charged some congressmen with attempting legislative blackmail installing the tax increase he wants. He urged Congress to stand up like men and answer the roll call if they want to cut his budget. The chief opponent of a tax bill without considerable spending cuts is Wilbur Mills, chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, whom the president mentioned by name. Mills declines comment on the remarks. But the House Republican leader, Gerald Ford, fired back. The president himself ought to stand up and be counted. Two more heart transplants were revealed today, making ten attempts in all. In London, doctors still are in the operating room of the National Heart Hospital, the hospital confirming only that an operation is underway, Britain's first try at transplant. In Houston, Texas, a medical team performed a transplant earlier today, lending the heart of a 15-year-old girl who'd been fatally shot to a 47-year-old man whose own heart was on beyond repair. And in Stanford, California, 40-year-old Joseph Reiser is in the second day of his borrowed heart life, Reiser's condition now listed as fair. Former President Eisenhower is described as in excellent spirits by his doctors at March Air Force Base in California today. Mr. Eisenhower, 77, suffered a mild heart attack earlier this week. Today, the base bulletin says he's enjoying light reading. Mr. Eisenhower is expected to be hospitalized for several weeks. More news in a moment. As a dancer, I could trip the light fantastic. Except my partners used to waltz out of sight. I would sit and sulk, planning something drastic. But I'm back in step now, thanks to Ultra Bright. Ultra Bright entered my life. Wow! Ultra Bright changed my whole life. Now I've got partners galore, and I'm having a ball. And four, believe me, it's for real. Ultra Bright gives your mouth sex appeal. Ultra Bright toothpaste, the kickiest taste, the freshest breath, the brightest teeth. That's sex appeal. Ultra Bright toothpaste, a taste you can really feel. Ultra Bright gives your mouth sex appeal. After Ultra Bright, everything else is just toothpaste. In the war, United States forces have repulsed a North Vietnamese attack near Dong Ha, that's 11 miles below the demilitarized zone, and four days of hard fighting there seems to be drawing to an end. American and South Vietnamese forces say at least 1,200 enemy troops were killed in this campaign. Forty-five miles from there, the fighting does continue around Hue, where paratroopers overran communist positions and killed 46 North Vietnamese soldiers today. A taxi filled with plastic explosive blew up in the center of Saigon this morning, killing three people, wounding 25 other Vietnamese and five Americans, and doing some damage to the American and South Vietnamese television buildings. Operations of the TV station, though, were not disrupted. An inquiry is underway to find out how the terrorists managed to get the death vehicle into the area and pass the guards. The scene is about one block from the United States Embassy in Saigon. The field commanders of the Poor People's March are moving through the Delta country of Mississippi today, recruiting volunteers for the coming March on Washington. That situation is somewhat confused, but the general impression is that the march itself will begin in a couple of days from Mississippi. Activity to this hour on the New York Stock Exchange is fairly heavy. The volume now, 14,070,000 shares. The Dow Jones average of 30 industrial stocks now is up fractionally, it was up 11 points earlier in the day. It now is up 0.64. The New York Stock Exchange Index of all stocks is now up by 4 cents. The industrials up 5 cents, transportation down 5, utilities up 2 cents, and finance is up 32 cents. Mom 
cream is the cool one because mum leaves your skin as free as the breeze by fighting the thing that actively causes perspiration odor, not by stopping up your pores. That's the natural way to protect against perspiration odor. From tension when the heat is on, from temperature when the heat is up, mum is the cool one. No matter how hot it gets, it's never too hot for mum cream. Over the last three or four years, I have developed some very good friends on this program. In fact, uh, you know, it's kind of like old home week. Good friend <laughs> walks in the door and says, what are we talking about this hour? Dr. Maria Pierce is certainly one of these buddies. She is director of the Chicago Institute for Early Childhood Education. She and I are going to talk. And then if you've got uh, something going on with one of the youngsters that is uh, rubbing you raw and maybe rubbing the child raw, we'll invite you to call us at Mohawk 4 9000 and you can talk with her. I think I should check the weather. A little cooler, partly cloudy cooler, the high 59 to 64, cooler near Lake Michigan. Tomorrow, partly sunny, little temperature change between 59 and 64. And for Sunday, mostly sunny, a little warmer. It's 54 along the lakefront, it's 65 inland. Definite effect from Lake Michigan, the wind is north at 9 miles an hour. Next news at 158 on 78. Bulletins at any second on the station where you hear the news first. WBBM News Radio 78. WBBM Chicago. Now, in the interest of a healthier America, we bring you another stanza from the Fleischmann's Fitness Song. Cycling, roll back, cycling, on your shoulder, the way to start the day. Straighten up and point your toes, cycling, start to pedal, cycling, round and round, try doing it this way. Pump with vigor, that's how it goes, cycling, knees back, cycling, you're on the right track, that's one way, the right way, for keeping fit each day. For keeping fit, it's the right kinds of exercise. The right kinds of food help, too, like Fleischmann's margarine. Fleischmann's is made from 100% corn oil, and in the low-saturated fat diets recommended today, no vegetable oil is better for you than corn oil. A medical fact, but what's health without enjoyment? Fleischmann's rich taste is the other reason it's America's favorite premium margarine. Fleischmann's, stick or soft, we're interested in your health. Cycling, cycling. This is one way, the right way, for keeping fit each day. Now let's go over to National, do some grocery shopping, and I notice right on the top of one of their ads, 1968 Scout Fun Fair, the Chicago International Amphitheater, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, May 10, 11, and 12. Everybody who's welcome, sponsored by the Boy Scouts of America. The kids need uh, the moral support of adults. They need an audience, and these boys have been doing all kinds of things, so come on, get out of the house, get out of the rut. It'll be Mother's Day weekend. Bring her on down. Let her see what the Boy Scouts are doing. And get your groceries at National, that goes without saying, doesn't it? Well, Dr. Pierce, it's awfully good to see you again. Thank you. The pleasure is all mine, man. Hi, now, how are you <laughs> doing nice at the here. Institute? How are you doing on we all these teachers? Are you developing <laughs> them enough? Yes, uh, I think we are really doing very well. And one reason I'm here is that I like to talk with you, but another reason is that we are currently recruiting students. We want women anywhere between 20 and, oh, 60 or so, who are interested in young children, who have a BA degree, hopefully, or some college education. And the goal of our training is to make them into experts in the early education field, which means they become, after they are through with us, they become Head Start supervisors or nursery school directors or things like that. And before I forget, may I quickly mention our phone number? You better For do it. any woman who is interested, it's Hat Park 3. 2880, Hatbox 32880. It's called the Chicago Institute for Early Childhood Education, but Maria Pierce will be just as good. If people want to address any inquiries to us and if they want to know more about us, please just direct it to me, Maria Pierce, 1525 East 53rd Street. I have to believe that the world is in the hands of teachers. Parents are teachers, <laughs> I don't know. but boy, yes. I tell you the importance. Of, what do you hear about Head Start now? What do, do we hear know? about Head Start? We are connected now with Head Start in a number of ways. Uh, we are getting a big, nice grant from Head Start to continue our training. And the national headquarters of Head Start in Washington are using us and our graduates to consult with Head Start centers all over the nation. Next week, I'm going to Texas. 
in September I'm going to Minnesota. Uh, not so long ago I was in Mississippi, and last week I was in New York, and there are all right. <laughs> we are doing a lot of traveling, <laughs> and so do our grandparents. Huh? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, it's almost like that. And my family sometimes objects mildly, but then our students don't travel as much as I do, of course, not nearly. Dr. Pierce, if I were to ask you uh, to put in kind of a nutshell for us what your school does for a girl that maybe she doesn't get by going through a college regular four-year mm -hmm. degree mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. and so forth, mm -hmm. how, how would you help us on that? See, I haven't been down, I haven't watched the teaching yes, or anything like that. Yes, of course not. Well, we are now affiliated with Loyola University, and our program is good for a master's degree if people take two more courses at Loyola. But we also have found out that it can be used toward a bachelor's degree if people so wish. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we have any number of older women who really don't care whether they get a degree provided they become skilled nursery school teachers and then can work either in private nursery schools or perhaps in some kindergarten setup or head start setup of some sort. We prefer people who have a bachelor's degree, but we have quite a few of excellent students who do not. And we don't want them to be lost to the entire field, and they are ready and willing and able to take care of young children. So they simply take our training program, which is a one-year full-time program or a two-year half-time program. And uh, they come out with a certificate from us, but not with an academic degree, and some of them like it just as well. So maybe a mother who has the children grown up could come right. two years at half-time. That's correct. Uh, and still take morning, care of her own family. Or? One year it's morning smell, and in those mornings they mostly teach in nursery schools under our supervision. And the second year it would be two or three afternoons where we teach our seminars and courses and where they do some reading and talk with us in private conferences. So it's one year, the theory, but uh, that's two or three afternoons a week only. And one year, it's the practice teaching, and that's five mornings a week. But they really know how to do it when they come out of our institute. Uh, I love to talk with you on the subject because every once in a while I'll do a show and say, uh, are you bored? What are you bored about? <laughs> and, and gals yes. will call uh -huh. me, and we'll talk about this. And many of them will say, well... I, I feel lonely. I, I feel I've done my job. My yes. children are grown up, and how many times can you dust under the piano? That's so right. And, and who had who had dusting more than I? But most of us enjoy the contact with young kids, even though our own may be grown up, you know. You can give them a whole new challenge in life. That's right. Oh, and yeah. if you only knew how much Head Start children need adult care and, and adult affection and interest, you know, you have no idea. It's really an urgent need we are meeting. That's why we are growing in leaps and bounds. I'm delighted. Yeah. I'm pleased to hear about the grant, too. It means you're being appreciated where it helps a lot. That's in the, in right. The in Washington, D.C., too, oh, and man. in the pocketbook. <laughs> All right. Now, Dr. Pierce is willing to take your calls. You want to talk with her? You, I'm sure you know her by this time. She feels kind of like a friend of the family. Mm -hmm. We're at Mohawk 4 9000. I'm just going to shake these ads from National at you. And if you don't have them out of the newspapers of yesterday, well... What are we going to do about you? Just go on over to National and walk up and down the aisles. Go through the meat department, look in the fresh produce department, look in the canned goods department. We're having a, a dollar day's sale. That's always impressive. It's three cans of this and four cans of that, and here are three Morton pies for a dollar. I'm hungry enough I could eat all three right here and now. Go on over to National. The shopping is fun there, and you'll meet some nice people, and you'll have a nice afternoon. Dr. Pierce, do you see this little black, uh, I think it's under your purse, uh, you want, uh, no, you want that so you can hear what the ladies oh. are going to be asking you about. Very good. That isn't right. assembled yet, but that should Oh, that's all right. No, don't, don't bother to assemble it. It would mess that's up your hairdo there, okay. see? Just sort of hold it up to your ear. This way? No, no, just, well, okay. you'll strangle yourself. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about me. <laughs> Blast off. Zip up into space. <laughs> up, up, and away. All right, here's Dr. Pierce. We'd love to hear what your question is now. Thank you. Uh, I have a foster child that is very aggressive. Yes. And he is having trouble in school. He talks too much. He has trouble with the children in the neighborhood mm -hmm. because he's always asking them to fight or they ask mm -hmm. him to fight. Fortunately, it never comes to an actual fight. Yes. But there's always this, this feeling of he's fighting his way mm -hmm. through life. Mm -hmm. And somehow or other, we are unable to reach him to make him understand that this is... May I ask you how old he was when you got him? Four. 
for. Well, mm. you see, a four-year-old who suddenly loses everything in his world, whoever took care of him, took care of him first, and his playmates, and everything under the sun, is bound to be somewhat disturbed. And I want to congratulate you, and I want to tell you that you are very brave. It's not an easy matter to take on a foster child. Now, uh, I think you can fight your way through this if you care enough. He will probably stop with his uh, aggressive behavior. But under all circumstances, I would talk to the social worker. Well, uh, I have. She ha she's very young and um, right. I think quite inexperienced and hasn't been able to give us much help. Mm -hmm. But we've had him four years. You've had him for years. Even so, this is sometimes a matter of long duration. Okay. I would say you may do anything you wish, but don't kick him out if you possibly can stand it. Oh, no. no. We, we have no intention to <laughs> Okay. The other thing is go to the Association for Family Living, and it's listed in the telephone book, mm -hmm. and ask for an appointment with one of the counselors. They are extremely able, and they are not too young and inexperienced, and I think they will probably be able to help you in dealing with this difficult youngster. Mm -hmm. You know, but the, the one trouble with foster children is that the bottom dropped out yes. from under them at one time in their lives. And I think you are extremely brave if you hang on to this child oh, and, and we, stay his mother. We intend to. Good luck very to you. Very good. Thank good you luck. Very much. Thank you. We'll take more calls in just a moment. It's 20 minutes after 1. We're available to you now at Mohawk 4 9000. We'll go back out into the parking lot from National and put all those bags of groceries in the car and take them home and put them on shelves. I hope when you were grocery shopping there, that you picked up some constant comment tea. This is Bigelow constant comment tea. I am a tea drinker. I am informed that mountain climbers drink tea, too. Well, we aren't quite like that. But when you get up in the morning, isn't it nice to have a good hot cup of tea? Or at lunch or supper time? Most Americans don't actually stop for tea, although I think it's the best thing in the world, and I wish we did. Now, the reason my taste appreciates Bigelow tea is that it has some ground or very tiny shreds of orange rind. It also has some special spices right in the tea. So when all of a sudden the tea is added to the hot water, voila, like that. It's a nice aroma all through the house, and the taste is beautiful. Now, we're going into summer. Most of us appreciate iced tea, don't we? Now, let's have iced tea with a little zip to it. And this is Constant Comment Bigelow. It comes in a black can. It's black and yellow and red. And you should find it in all good grocery stores. Gee, i got a whole bunch of them here. Strickland's in Hillside. Oh, I know that store. Lakeside Foods up in Winnetka, Lake Forest, Hillman's, all stores. You see what I mean? Here's Dr. Pierce now. Go ahead. Uh, hello, doctor. Uh, hello. I have three boys. One is 18, one is 13, and one is 8. Mm -hmm. And uh, my problem is with the middle boy. Yes. Uh, it seems like he had nightmares for about, I'd say, t two years, mm -hmm. where he would wake up in the middle of the night and he would actually walk around the house and he, he wasn't awake. Mm -hmm. You know, he'd be, like, hysterical. Mm -hmm. And then here lately it has stopped a little bit, you know. Yes. Like he might have them once a week or yes. something like that. Yes. But now the problem is it's his personality has changed so definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, he's gone from a boy that, like you'd say, go to the store or do this. Or, okay, Mom, you know. Yes. And now all of a sudden... No I more okay, Mom, now. Huh? You, you'd get... I mean, he'd do it, you know. Yes. No question, you'd say, uh, open the door to, to one of the, the boys, and he'd be the first to jump up. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden... Uh, he's he has getting, become more ornery, right? Uh more talking back, I mm -hmm. would say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You uh, know, I'm afraid he has read the right books. This is what happens at this age. And uh, the most docile kids and the most good-natured kids become a bit self-centered and, uh, well, adolescent, teenage-ish. And uh, I'm afraid that uh, you'll have to learn to live with this. You'll also probably have a few battles with him about this, that, and the other in the next three, four years. But please remember, adolescence is not here to stay. They ultimately outgrow it. I'm really more worried by far about the child who has nightmares than a child who sasses his parents. I feel sorry for the parents when a 13-year-old sasses them, and I've been through that twice, you know, myself. But I'm afraid it's a sign of healthy development that's sad but true. I think every parent listening has got a big smile now <laughs> saying, ha, 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 it's happened to me too. <laughs> now, one more thing, if, it, if you really were it, then call the Community Referral Service. I think it's Randolph 60363. Tell them where you live 
and what your problem is, and they'll send you to somebody in your neighborhood who is qualified to counsel you. Dr. Pierce will take your next call here right after this. That's <laughs> just Buzzer Bell back from Florida. We're making a bundle flying up crates of oranges every day for a rich guy named Creighton. He's nuts about fresh orange juice. Really? Do your pilots get oranges too? Uh, we drink ever sweet orange juice. It's super fresh. Fresher than squeezing your own? Sure, those oranges were picked days ago. So? Well, for really fresh juice, you gotta squeeze oranges right away. Like ever sweet. They pick them, squeeze them, and rush the juice up here. Just hours off the tree. <laughs> yeah, and Mr. Creighton's crazy. Well, from now on, we'll get ever sweet, super fresh orange juice. Good idea, Mrs. Uh... Creighton. Mrs. Creighton. Oh, no. All new Eversweet orange juice costs a little bit more, but there's an important reason. Eversweet is Chicago's only super fresh orange juice. 100% pure orange juice squeezed from grade A fancy oranges right at the orange grove, just hours off the tree. Eversweet is not an orange drink or juice made from concentrate, but 100% pure, fresh squeezed orange juice. Nothing added, nothing taken away. Try all new Eversweet now at your dairy or your neighborhood grocery. Well, that little rain this morning and the grass is really growing and you fed it early in March as you're supposed to right on schedule and the lawn looks like a boy of about 12. It's in a growing spree and you cut it and there it is again and it needs to be recut. This is a good time of year though to keep it cut because the energy is just flowing out and it'll make a beautiful lawn for you. May I suggest a lawn boy lawn mower? There is no lawn mower like it. Well, we have a number of different ones, different sizes, different styles. We even have the one that you ride on if you are the country baron with acres and acres of land to be cut. <laughs> well, look, you go over to your store and ask to see Lawn Boy. The Lawn Boy machine is easy to start, it is easy to operate, and that self-propelled job is uh, just a joy to use. You can see Lawn Boy all over at Chuck's Fix-It Shop in Deerfield, at A1 Sales and Service in North Lake and at Doyne's Home and Marine Supply in Gary. All right, Dr. Pierce, go ahead, please. You're on the air. Hello. Hello, Dr. Pierce. Hello. Thank you for this opportunity. Yes, so welcome. I have uh, five youngsters, and I'm having a little uh, behavior problem with my second oldest, who is a girl nine years old. Mm -hmm. uh, she is quite stubborn and quite strong-willed and mm -hmm. seems to rebel at everything that's asked of her. Mm -hmm. Come to getting up, going to bed, washing her face, brushing her teeth, anything that's asked of her, yes. we have uh, difficulties. Mm -hmm. I wonder how I should handle a situation like this. Well, I don't, I don't think I can really answer you honestly because sometimes one mother and one child, one particular child out of five or seven or nine, rub each other the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And why this is so, I think I'd, uh, I'd really not be honest if I tell you I have a prescription or a, a recipe for this or a cure. I only would like to tell you one little thing. Sometimes this antagonism can start with a child and sometimes it can start with a mother. Sometimes a child is so different in personality yes, or I reminds us of somebody we don't like in our own family, you know, or something like that. Well, Doctor, I have, uh, now she is nine and her older sister is 11. There is quite a difference in the two. One, mm -hmm. uh, the 11-year-old mm -hmm. is quite mature mm -hmm. and the nine-year-old feels that I favor her, mm -hmm. but uh, the 11-year-old is very cooperative and very... Um, Easy to get, get along with, with. yeah. And but, so it probably appears to her that I do favor her because when she does what she's told, yes. uh, she's you allowed more her. privileges. Yes. Now, uh, there's one little tr uh, a trick I'd like to suggest. Try, and uh, if you have any time, I don't know how you'll make time, but if you can, try and make friends with a nine-year-old individually. The trouble when we have a large family is that we may give a lot of time to all of them at once. But never those 10 minutes which every child sort of yearns for individually. Try and take her along, that nine-year-old, when you go to the uh, supermarket or when you have some sort of an errand. And just try and favor her on such occasions when she's alone and not in competition. If that doesn't do you any good, then again, I'd like to suggest the Association for Family Living. It's in the loop someplace. you find it in the phone book. Okay. All right? Thank you very much mm -hmm. for your call. We'll take another one. Go ahead. Here's Dr. Pierce now. Hello. Hello, Dr. Pierce. Yes. Um, I sent my son to uh, preschool, I mean, to the uh, uh, preschool, yes, when he was three years old. Yes. And uh, the Head Start program, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I sent him to when he was three. And because he was very aggressive, like the first lady's child, and he appeared to be quite smart, 
And yeah. then he attended a school uh, where it was uh, the lab school, mm -hmm. where the uh, program was rather lax. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not so controlled. Now you mean the University of Chicago lab school? Uh, no, it was an Evanston lab school. Uh -huh. Now he goes to a, a fairly regulated school mm -hmm. and where they use the graded system. Mm -hmm. And he's having a terrible time adjusting to this, and they're mm -hmm. talking about keeping him back in first grade because of this uh, sort of uh, immaturity, they say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering how I can best help him. Well, I'm not sure whether you should change schools or have the child looked at. In case of doubt, again, I think you would be in a, you would probably be right in consulting either the Association for Family Living or to go to uh, the phone and call Randolph 60363, which is the Community Referral Service. Tell him you're an Evanstonian, and where can you go to talk this over in detail? I would have to ask you a great many questions now about the why and wherefore of this. I don't think Mel Belair would like that, or the other people in the audience. But try, because the fault can be either with the child or with the school in this case. You see? Thank you very much for your call. Uh, it, it isn't so much that I wouldn't like it, it's that this, this clock just keeps running away with us. Yes, I know. <laughs> and we do try to get as many of you on as possible. I see some of these problems come along, and we'd all like to take about a week off, wouldn't we? This yes, is WBBM and, yeah, and WBBM FM in Chicago, and I want to talk about uh, doing something for people 65 and over. You know, they're always talking about the youngsters and the children's problems and this and that. Who does anything for people over 65? Well, I've got a bank. This happens to be the bank where the, well, where we do our business because it's local. It's the Wilmette State Bank, and I strongly recommend it for any kind of banking service. But here's the good thing. For those of you 65 and over, a chance to join our club. We call it Courtesy Club 65. This offers you, a member, a checking account absolutely free. No service charge whatsoever, regardless of balance, regardless of how many checks you write each month. When you open a CC65 account, you get 50 checks imprinted with your name and address and a personalized check wallet free. There are no special qualifications for membership. Anyone 65 and up can belong. You can come into the bank, the Wilmette State Bank, right there in the middle of the village, or you can uh, call. If you come in, ask for Mrs. Judd. If you call, well, ask for her too. The phone number is AL18100. I think this is an awfully nice thing. People on fixed incomes, as they generally are when they're 65, here is a little break that'll help you. This is something you haven't heard about before, I'm sure. Our Courtesy Club 65. Call her up, Mrs. Judd, that is. We'll go over to Walgreens for a few minutes now. And here's Dr. Pierce on the air with you. Go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, Dr. Hello. Pierce. I have a five-year-old boy who is constantly teasing animals. He has gotten It's gotten to the point now where he's been bitten twice by dogs, and I mm -hmm. know that he provokes us because uh, once he was bitten by our own pet, who was uh, not a mean dog, but uh, he just doesn't want to be bothered, you know. Mm -hmm. and does I'm he torture them or does he want to play with them or what is it? Uh, he is, he's uh, a tease. I mean, he teases mm -hmm. the mailman, he teases the babysitter, and uh, he feels like uh, teasing the dog is uh, something that uh, pleases him, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but uh, he doesn't understand. Is this an only child? Uh, no, I have a boy who is 13. Mm -hmm. Does he tease him? No, no. No, he doesn't bother with the dog at all. No, let me... No, no. I mean, does anybody tease your younger child? Oh, that, the, uh, the little boy? No, not that I know of. N neither the father nor the older brother nor no. the babysitter. No. I, I really don't know what this is. And okay. I would think that as long as he goes at it again, that it doesn't bother him or hurt him particularly. So perhaps, perhaps, one of the reasons he does it is to worry his mother and make her concerned. There are I two see. reasons I can think of. This is the one, and the other one is that somebody teases him, and he pays back, you know, somehow, kicks downward, kicks somebody else for it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I would wait a while, and if not, consult somebody if it really bothers you but perhaps the trouble is that you pay a bit too much attention to it i don't know try i see all right okay. thank you very much mm -hmm. thank you for the call we're at mohawk four nine thousand and we'll take your question next go right ahead hello dr pierce hello i have a 26 month old daughter who mm -hmm. for the past year has been very very frightened when left in a room alone with an aggressive child mm -hmm. of her own age or maybe a little older or even yes. younger Yes. Now, I found recently that when I put her in a room with 
about five to ten children all jumping around the aggressive type. Mm -hmm. She has no fear at all, and I was wondering if this is a normal type reaction. It is practically normal, yes. Now let me ask you a quick question. When you have many kids in the room, is there an adult? Is it party? Is there an adult, a mother, a oh, father? Oh, yes, yes, always. And when you have just a second child in the room, there is no adult or also an adult? Yes, adults also. There are, there are always adults there to protect her. Well, I don't know. I'm playing guessing game. Now, i tell you the truth. It's possible that she is jealous of a second child. And, and that shows. And this is what it means when she's anxious and ill at ease. Uh, and it's possible that if it's distributed over many kids, she doesn't mind so much. But I'm frankly playing guessing games. I don't know that this is the solution. But it is normal for a two-year-old to be not as sociable as we expect them to be. At age three, the situation looks quite different. Then they can manage, you see. Yes, but my whole question was, if she's with a child that is a quiet, docile type, she's just fine. Mm -hmm. you know, she doesn't run to mm -hmm. mommy or anything. Mm -hmm. But if she's with someone that That's runs aggressive. and jumps or This is, is entirely normal. This is completely normal because she senses in her bones that she could not defend herself as yet. I see. And Thank that really much, changes Dr. at age three. Thank you. Okay. okay, thank you. What can we do for you now? Oh, hello. Uh, hello. I have a five-year-old boy that I feel is just too possessive of me. I'm the mother, and he just won't let me leave his sight for a minute. If I just walk across the room, he rushes after me, or if I leave the room and I say I have to go downstairs or something, he becomes very angry at me, and mm -hmm. uh, he's just so possessive of me that I uh, don't understand it. Is he your only son? No, I have two teenagers also, so mm -hmm. he's a baby. Mm -hmm. For our practical purposes, he's like an only son, and the... Uh, a, a boy who owns his mommy. I think if you give him a year, and if you try to tell him reasonably, but not unfriendly, look, mommy has to do this and that, and that's final, and I'll be right back. If you promise him you'll be back for him, or I'll be back in half an hour, whatever it is, he may not understand what half an hour means. He's always been this way, though, and it causes problems in the home because my husband gets very angry with him after a while because he won't even let me talk with anyone. He gets right in the middle and interrupts everything. Well, I think you have to be firm but friendly. He's in competition with his father right now and wants to be mama's best boy, and he that looks to me as though he had read all the right books about child development, you know. <laughs> He's right this on schedule. This is the way too. the way it goes, yes. I think the answer is for you to be firm but friendly all along so he doesn't feel rejected. And perhaps you can uh, bring it across to your husband not to take a five-year-old as seriously as, we, as if he were a, gr a grown-up competitor. All right, thank you very much, and good luck to you and the five-year-old at your mm -hmm. house. I have two things I'd like to cover now from the folks at Walgreens. First of all, remember to cash in on Walgreens' ice cream coupon offer that I mentioned a couple of days ago. Today, take that coupon that you clipped from yesterday's Walgreens newspaper ad and get a 29-cent pint of Walgreens ice cream free when you buy four pints for 89 cents. This is a good deal. Walgreens ice cream is made from nature's finest ingredients to be naturally good. It's flavor-rich, flavor-true. In fact, flavor's the reason it's so pleasing. The pints store easily, make serving so simple. And there are 21 deluxe flavors of Walgreens ice cream at most Walgreens, Chicagoland's biggest packaged ice cream variety. Choose your favorites, including the flavor of the week, cherry nut, made with lots and lots of luscious red ripe cherries and crisp pecans. Remember now, take that coupon from yesterday's Walgreens newspaper ad, present it when you buy four pints of Walgreens ice cream for 89 cents. You then get another pint free. But hurry along, this coupon offer is for today and tomorrow. Now, do you know what is a, a, a gnome-mobile? Well, this is an automobile used to get gnomes from one place to another, and it can steer your youngsters into a fascinating world of fun and adventure. They'll find the details in Whitman's book, The Gnome-Mobile, only 69 cents at Walgreens. From first page to last, this book is filled with action and colorful personalities. There are human children, Elizabeth and Rodney, their grandfather, D.J., then there are the gnomes, including Jasper, Nobby, and Violet, and others. And from the time that Jasper disregards the advice of the raccoons and the blue jays and seeks help from the humans, to the final solving of the problem, your children will be spellbound. Based on the Walt Disney movie, the story of the gnome mobile will find a lasting place in your children's library, so get it today. 69 cents at Walgreens. See the many other Whitman books for children, too, all at Walgreens, waiting your pleasure. I love to read to children. Watch their eyes as they concentrate on you. you got to do a good job, boy. If you don't, they'll tell you all about it, won't they? 
We've been over at Walgreens for the last few minutes. I, I like these folks. They're great to do business with. Yes, may we have your question now? Uh, yes. Um, hello. I, hello. Uh, my husband has been diagnosed uh, many years ago as a paranoid schizophrenic, and uh, this problem um, shows itself periodically, and in between everything's fine. Uh, I have a nine-year-old son, and my husband seems unable to acknowledge anything in him but the negative, what's mm -hmm. naughty, what's what he mm -hmm. does wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, even when he, uh, when the boy accomplishes something mm -hmm. that he's proud of, my husband will say, well, yes, now you see, you didn't have to be naughty last week and go on, and he, he will dwell on the negative. Mm -hmm. And so my son has uh, learned to that in order to get his father's attention, he has to either be naughty or be negative or do mm -hmm. something wrong. But mm -hmm. this does get his attention. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, last week, uh, my husband bruised the boy's face pretty badly by striking him. And then afterwards, uh, you can tell that he's remorseful, although he does not admit using mm -hmm. poor judgment. Mm -hmm. And he showers the boy completely with attention. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the boy just loves this. Mm -hmm. Now, I have been uh, on the fence about separating for a yes. long time. Yes. I have two boys here, and mm -hmm. uh, I want to know which is harder for a child to live in this negative atmosphere where you have to be wrong to be right mm -hmm. or to be without a father at all. Well, look, um, I, I don't think I can answer this, but I can sort of pose a question and you can try and uh, experiment with this. Uh, does your husband know and admit that he uh, is quite sick or that he has been diagnosed as quite ill? Once in a while, but most of the time he denies mm -hmm. it. Once well, I think a nine-year-old intelligent boy with whom one has a good relationship like you evidently do, I would be frank with him and tell him privately, look, your daddy is sick. He also loves you and he also showers you with attention then from time to time. But when he gets so very strict and all that, this is an illness. And don't rub it in. In other words, I would put the facts on the table. I think it will help your child to understand what's what. And it might help him to understand that it isn't to his advantage to play up to this, you see. I uh, considered doing that, but I wondered if uh, whenever my husband gets angry with him, if he would just, if the boy would just automatically consider that uh, father is sick now, so I don't have to pay any attention to Well, him. I think it is probably wiser if he mostly takes his cues from you. And you can add to it, sometimes your daddy is right in what he mm -hmm. says, but sometimes it's really because he's ill that he demands too much from you or something. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the f facts are never as frightening as the hush-hush about such a situation. He can't help it that he's sick, but he's sick. Well, you may be quite right. I'll sure try it. I'm going to have to try something. The other question I'm afraid I can't answer, whether to get a, a separation well, or Well, I, I know I did not. paint you into a corner, and that wasn't really a fair No, question. no, that's all right. I'm just sorry I can't help you in a hurry. Well, you've helped quite okay. a bit. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. You know, uh, as you and I sit here, and as I have gone on now for three or four years, I've met people with some of the the most uh, difficult problems. You wonder, why this person? You know, boy, I tell you, sometimes the load seems almost more than the, anybody should be asked to carry. It, it's really pretty rough. Well, Dr. Pierce will take another call here. Uh, my last uh, uh, chance this Friday afternoon to talk to you about a Tala mm. ham. This is a Polish ham. It's a good ham. It's a delightful ham. I think the main difference in this particular ham is that it is leaner. Now, I like this myself because I, I don't like fat on anything, really. I know you have to have fat on beef because if you don't, you lose taste and all that. But I don't like a lot of fat on ham. In the first place, it's waste. It just cooks away or you cut it off, and why should you pay for this? The tallow ham is lean, and it is all ham. It doesn't have gristle. It doesn't have any gelatin. It doesn't have any water content. When you open up the can and it comes in two sizes, three pound and five pound, you will find nothing but real honest to goodness ham and whoever slices it will appreciate that fact too now it's available in three different stores the pick and save the dell farms and the mayflower food stores there's a coupon in the sun times yesterday that enables you to go into the pick and save and get that ham for two dollars and 99 cents 2.99 there's dinner this sunday for two dollars and 99 cents so i would you please try the tala ham t-a-l-a -A. remember the name shopping bulletin from Sears. Today through Saturday, 
you can buy floor-length custom draperies, 81 inches or longer, for just $2.49 a yard, including labor, less than the regular price of the fabric alone. Choose from antique satins, boucles, woven fabrics in 38 colors. Custom-made draperies, just $2.49 a yard, now through Saturday in Sears Drapery Department. Let's get back on the phones now, and we'll talk with you. Go ahead, please. We're listening. Uh, Dr. Pierce, uh, yes. I was, have a problem, actually, with two children. Uh, one is uh, my adopted daughter, and uh, one is my uh, stepson, mm -hmm. which is 11 years old, and my daughter is 12. Now, my daughter is in the sixth grade, and my son is in the fifth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, actually, I think they're going backwards instead of forwards, whereby... Uh, my uh, daughter doesn't understand. She has problem problem in school. Mm -hmm. She doesn't. Uh, she. I think she has the uh, mentality of a fourth grader. And uh, my son uh, at home, they, they, she's always tattling. Everything she finds in fault with him. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, whereby uh, and my son, I have. He's all acts like a sissy. He was don't play with the boys. He wants to play with the girls. Mm -hmm. He's 11 years old, and mm -hmm. it's about to drive me out of my mind, mm -hmm. really. I don't know. I really strongly suggest you consult the Association for Family Living in the phone book. It's somewhere in the loop, and make an appointment with one of the counselors. Let me give you one thing that uh, that seems very hopeful in what you tell me. You refer to them as my daughter and my son, even though one of them is a stepchild and the other one an adopted child. It seems to me... You do care a lot what happens to them. And it's possible that what you describe is purely a developmental business and will pass. Certainly that the grades drop at age 12 or so is very, very common. But I cannot judge whether they are more troubled than that or whether this is just a, a growing up process, which is always one step back, two step forward, you see. So do consult somebody. It seems to me, even though they are driving you out of your mind, as two beginning adolescents might well do, you care a lot for them. So go and uh, consult somebody who's Thank qualified. You. Thank you very much for your call. Now we have about eight minutes left, so we'll move to you. Go ahead, please. It's your turn. Hello, uh, Dr. Hello. Pierce. Hello. Uh, Dr. Pierce, I'd yes. like to ask you about a four-and-a-half-year-old boy. It seems everybody has problems with little boys today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh, he has no initiative, and I can't seem to motivate him. He doesn't want to get dressed. Mm -hmm. Um, I, the only thing he's interested in is taking the other children, whatever they find to do, then all of a sudden he wants to do. Mm -hmm. And he goes to nursery school in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and uh, he just lays around all morning. He's not belligerent or anything, but he gets into, oh, you know, opens the mail and tears open cereal boxes. And But he's very nice about it, you know, and mm -hmm. I tell him to he... go get dressed. Okay, Mom, but then it'll take him four mm -hmm. hours to get mm -hmm. dressed. Mm -hmm. I think at four, one sometimes still needs a little help, not because he isn't skillful enough to do it, but perhaps because he wants to feel his mother's attention. Question, do you have a younger one around the oh, house? Oh, yes, I have two younger than he. That's what it sounds like. Yes, and uh, get more it? attention to him and to help him a little bit, you mean. Yes, exactly, and to give him this attention individually and not unwillingly. Right. Whatever his name is, this next ten minutes, darling, belong to you, and you and I are going to have fun and we'll dress you together and so on. I'm not terribly worried because if he does well in nursery school and has initiative there. You know, the trouble is, is that the oldest one, the four-year-old? No, there's one just a year older uh -huh. than he. Uh -huh. And he's doing all right. Uh -huh. well, Sometimes we expect them prematurely to be grown up and we have even little ones around the house. Right, and he's very, uh, he gets, you know, you'll tell him, don't touch this, all right. And then yes. two minutes later, he's overfeeding the yes. fish or doing something that you've yes. just got through saying. Well, he's yes. not inactive. He just doesn't quite know what to do with himself. That's right. Do he, does he have a, a place, a room, some space where, we, where he can play? Oh, yes, and he has uh, his own room. Uh, uh -huh. And as but I he say, he'll to stay up there all morning trying to practice tying his socks or, uh -huh. you know. Uh, How about uh, letting, you, letting him help you with the housework, such as washing dishes, yes. pots and pans, uh, sweeping something, that sort of thing, right. mopping that they love at that age. That would be good, yes. He likes okay. to be right with me, whatever okay. I do. Then try and make him your assistant. Right. All right, okay. Doctor. Thanks so much. Uh -huh. We'll try and get another one of you on the air here in just a moment. I just received a call this morning. As of today, they are now taking calls.
taking your reservations for Mother's Day at Honey Bear Farm. I, I say reservations because if you're going up for dinner, please do make a reservation. That way we'll know that you're coming and know that we can expect you. What a nice way to spend Mother's Day. The trees are all in blossom, the flowers are out, the grass is beautiful, and it's in southern Wisconsin, only about an hour's drive from Chicago. And it's a beautiful drive right up the Tri-State Tollway, just across the state line where you pick up 50 and move in about 16, 17 miles into the parking lot. You will love Honey Bear Farm. A lot of you already know about it. How about all you gals suggesting that you be taken to Honey Bear Farm for dinner? Now, I know we can get you in if you call and make the reservations right away. Because if you wait until next week, there just won't be room. That's how popular Honey Bear Farm is. I'll give you the number, 686-6160. 686-6160. The nicest place you can go on Mother's Day has got to be Honey Bear Farm because the youngsters will all enjoy it too. See you there. New Manor House Electric Burt Grind Coffee in the bright green can. It's what's brewing. I am so much in favor of what Dr. Maria Pierce is doing that I'm just going to sit back here and turn it over to her and say, ah. tell us that story again. Uh, Thank you very much, Mel. Well, we are looking for women anywhere between 20 and 55 or older who have a BA degree, hopefully, uh, but even some who have just two years of college, maybe, and who are really, truly interested in working with young children. We can be reached. We is the Chicago Institute for Early Childhood Education, and we can be reached at Hyde Park 3, 2880. Now, I want to say that we do have scholarships available and that people who start with a BA degree frequently end up when they are through with us with an MA degree and then hopefully and almost invariably are placed into jobs as Head Start supervisors or in key positions in nursery schools, in daycare centers, in the preschool field. They get a full year's training with the Chicago Institute for Early Childhood Education, or they can do this in a two-year span on a half-time basis. And we are very, very interested because we are now recruiting students for the coming September. We will have to limit the number of applicants to 20. So if anybody is interested, now is the time to apply to Hyde Park 32880. Hyde Park 32880, right? Thank Dr. You. Pierce, thank you. We're out of time, and uh, I'm leaving uh, right away. I'm going down to Louisville for a couple of days for obvious reasons. Try and see if I can't do better than number seven, which I seem to be stuck with year after year. Tom Clark is going to do the show the next hour, and beginning Monday, Tom and I will be working together on the new format of WBBM News Radio 78. We'll begin our stint at 11 in the morning. Carry through until 3. We'll also be on the air Sunday afternoon from 2.30 until 6.30. It'll be different for us and for you. I can't tell you how much I've enjoyed speaking with you on the phone all these years. It's a ball. And let's continue right on year after year. The Young Mobile saving season is on. Now's your chance to get a great deal on any Young Mobile you choose. A front-wheel drive Toronado or a sporty 442. A luxurious full-size 88, or cut loose from the conventional with a sharp-looking Cutlass S. Get a saving season deal that makes young mobiling as sensible as it is exciting. Don't miss this chance to step up to a young mobile during the young mobile saving season. Now through May, the Oldsmobile dealers in most of this area, many you know as those gallant men of olds are making a very special effort to help you save during their Young Mobile Savin' Season Sale. Let your nearest Olds dealer show you how you can save right now on the Olds you want. Give Olds Young Wheels a whirl and young it up for real with the Young Mobile. Young Mobile. CBS Radio. Throughout the years, it's been hard to think of public playgrounds as places of fun and daring adventure. But all this may actually be changing. This is Dimension on Tomorrow's Living. I'm Bess Myerson, and along with me is CBS News science consultant, Dr. Leonard Rifo. Dr. Rifo, I'm sure you'll agree that uh, city children, surrounded as they are by concrete and glass with little open space to play in, have had little relief in their neighborhood playgrounds from that asphalt jungle they live in. <laughs> That's right. They have a very tough road to hoe, but... 
I think if we can get out of the idea that playgrounds have to be built to have low upkeep costs and be easily repairable, well, we might get around those problems a little bit. I mean, we'll have grass and soft places to fall on and we'll lots of fun. We'll have adventures in the playground. Adventures in the playground. Well, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Are you keeping up? Do you know what's happening? Well, try reading Woman's Day magazine. It's not life or look, but it does cover the most surprising subjects. This month, for example, teenagers talk frankly about interracial dating. Then there's a story on the secret world of the unborn child. All this plus special features on the romance of roses and romantic white dresses you can make for summer. It's all in the biggest surprise of the month, Woman's Day, at your supermarket checkout. Dr. Rifle, we talked about escaping from the asphalt jungle. I don't think you were talking in terms of removing the concrete from the playground as much as you were talking about getting rid of the rigidity of the... Well, that's right. I, I suspect there could be some asphalt here and there, but the whole idea is the old-fashioned playground is a kind of a flat place, not very interesting to look at. You have swings in one place and slides in another, and the poor kids have to sort of march around in due order to get on these various things. Uh, the new ideas are to make the whole thing a lot more uh, interesting form-wise and more flexible so you don't structure the kids' activities quite so rigidly. Interestingly enough, uh, the other playgrounds were structured and were rigid, and yet today the psychologists talk about planned environment for children, but that doesn't mean that's structurally planned. That's right. Well, it does in a sense, but it's a very different kind of meaning. It doesn't mean that the children have every activity planned out for them. It means that rather the psychologists and the structural engineers, if you like, and all of the other experts who are now beginning to look into this problem, and it's a big one, are are working very hard to create things that are flexible, that the child's own imagination can use instead of what the uh, designer thought of himself. So uh, I think there would be less uh, appeal of, say, a rocket, because a rocket, if it looks very much like a rocket in a playground, can only be that. It can only be a rocket. But if you have some kind of uh, shapes that can, uh, with the child's own imagination, become jungles or... Uh, animals or what have you, it becomes a lot more interesting to the children. Mm -hmm. Playgrounds might be loaded with old nooks and crannies and pyramids and big sand piles and all that sort of thing. Now, what reactions are these playground designers looking for in terms of responses from the youngsters who play in their newly constructed grounds? Well, I think they're basically trying to open up the personalities of the children. They're trying to allow them imagination, uh, encourage their creativity, encourage their inquisitiveness and maybe their own sense of innovation so that they become uh, more adventurous human beings when they grow up. Well, Dr. Eiffel, it's very encouraging that what with population explosion and scarcity of land, the psychologists and the architects and scientists are really still thinking about our children. We'll be back in a moment. No one's shocked when the modern American woman lights a cigarette. The only thing shocking is what cigarette smoking is doing to the American woman. A new report reveals that women who smoke are sick in bed with various chronic illnesses 17% more days than women who have never smoked. You'll find the facts in a new free booklet, Smoking and Illness. Write for it. U.S. Public Health Service, Washington, D.C., 20201. After all, a woman always has the right to change her mind, even about smoking. What are we going to talk about next time, Dr. Rifle? Well, it seems to me, having talked about the playgrounds of the present and future, we ought to talk about something rather related, and that is, say, the farms of the future. There ought to be some uh, very interesting ways to keep people down on the farm, say, in the year 2000. All right. A look, then, at the barnyard of the future in our crystal egg. I'm Bess Meyerson, here with Dr. Leonard Rifle, and this has been Dimension on Tomorrow's Living. <laughs> Now from WBBM News Radio 78, Mal Belairs with local stories at 158, brought to you by your Sears 33 Chicagoland stores. Three children were killed this afternoon when fire gutted their second floor apartment at 3629 Low Avenue. The victims, John, James, and Carol Stearns, were pronounced dead of smoke inhalation shortly after arrival at Mercy Hospital. About 60 Northwestern University Negro students have barricaded themselves in the university's Evanston Financial Office to protest what they call the entire Negro situation on the Northwestern campus. Meanwhile, a group of white students sent a telegram to student leaders at Columbia University expressing sympathy for the student protest being held there and requesting sympathy in return for their Northwestern action. Evanston police say the protest has been peaceful so far, although some school officials have been barred from entering the finance office building. 
Chicago City Purchasing Department today awarded a $5,700,000 contract to build four stations for the proposed Dan Ryan Rapid Transit System. The County Board Finance Committee has effectively shelved a $1 million bond referendum requested by Sheriff Joseph Woods for a transportation department terminal and is now considering the use of county-owned land for transportation unit needs. Do you know how hard Chicago's water is? About seven grains per gallon in the city, as high as 40 grains of hardness out in the suburbs. Yet most Chicago families now know the value of soft water, such as for more refreshing bathing, softer laundry, and easier household cleaning. But do you know Sears Citation Water Softener is now on sale? And this is Sears' lowest price ever for a fully automatic softener with a large 13,000 grain daily capacity and can be programmed to regenerate one to seven times per week. Sears low price, 149.88. 49 degrees along the lakefront in Chicago, 70 at O'Hare. Big difference. WBBM and WBBM FM Chicago. This is CBS News. President Johnson and former President Truman meet in Missouri. We'll have a report on that from the presidential party and Robert Pierpoint. Another heart transplant case is reported from London. It's the world's 10th and the 3rd in two days. Some reactions to the selection of Paris as a location for Vietnam talks and congressional criticism of the president's criticism of Congress. These and other stories on CBS Radio News. Good afternoon. This is Stuart Novins, CBS News in New York. President Johnson is meeting now with former President Truman. CBS News correspondent Robert Pierpoint has the story in Independence, Missouri. President Johnson has just arrived here in Independence for a brief visit at the white frame home of former President Harry Truman. On the way out from Washington, the president talked with reporters explaining his visit here. He said that from time to time, I talk with President Truman whenever I think the occasion justifies it. He is a man, said Mr. Johnson, with a wealth of experience, and I always profit from seeing him. President Johnson said, I could not go on his birthday next week, and I wanted to show him the respect and affection I feel. He said that he is bringing to President Truman a number of small gifts, including a set of presidential cufflinks, a tie clasp, and a watch. President Johnson is expected to remain here only a short time before returning to Washington. Robert Pierpoint, CBS News, with the presidential party at the home of former President Harry Truman. Belligerents reach toward preliminary peace talks, and mankind reaches for new medical progress. From London, a report now that the world's 10th heart transplant operation is now going on. The London Heart Hospital has confirmed the surgery is being performed, but it gives no detail so far. The American heart transplant patients in California and in Texas are both reported in good condition. The meeting in Paris. That story in 60 seconds. It's dinner time aboard Deluxe Flight 44. Coquille Saint-Jacques, Potage Saint-Germain, Estefade de Bouffe, Sauce Marchand de Vin, Mousse au Chocolat. Coffee, tea, or milk. Enjoy your deluxe dinner, sir. Mmm, mmm. Just a bit of turbulence, everyone. We'll continue serving your deluxe dinners. Meanwhile, miss, I'm wearing my deluxe dinner. Oh, I am sorry. Coquille Saint-Jacques all over my shirt. Potage Saint-Germain all over your jacket. Estefade de Bouffe. Sauce Marchand de Vin in my lap. Say, is your outfit machine washable? Yes, but hot water could set these stains. So we'll use cold water and cold power laundry detergent. Just step back to the washing machine. This is a deluxe flight. In goes your outfit. Add cold power. Add cold water. Those clothes will get clean in cold water. Before you know it. See? The stains. Gone. Stains don't set in cold water. Cold power is incredible. Germ proofs, too. The agreement by Washington and Hanoi to hold Vietnam peace probe talks in Paris May 10th is being hailed in most Western capitals. Moscow reported the agreement without comment. Peking, so far, is silent, but it's the middle of the night there, and some comment is bound to come soon. You know by now that Hanoi proposed Paris, and that President Johnson in a news conference announced his acceptance. Secretary General Lou Thant of the UN called it the best piece of news he's heard in a long time. It's not known yet precisely where in Paris the talks will be held. Observers there say it probably won't be inside the city itself, but possibly will be in a chateau in the suburbs. As might be expected, there's virtually unanimous support from national political figures to the prospect of peace talks, 
But many are pointing out, as President Johnson did this morning, that this is just the first tiny step in a long and difficult journey which will not be made easier by Hanoi's designation of one of its best propagandists as chief communist negotiator. Mr. Johnson, answering reporters' questions today, said the planned poor people's march on Washington contains inherent dangers. But, he said, the government would give serious consideration to the demands of the marchers. The drive to recruit marchers is now going on in many poor Negro areas of the South. More news in a moment. Melons, nice and juicy melons. Hey, try a melon, lady. Go ahead, squeeze them. That's how you test melon. Nice. You huh? can squeeze a melon. But how do you test a jar of powdered creamer? You look for the preem label. In one of the largest taste tests ever conducted, preem beat the other two leading brands by as much as three to one. Richer, lighter preem. Only 11 calories per teaspoon. It's already tested for you. The people who help the cola companies take the calories out of colas and keep the good taste in are the very same people who make Sucaril, America's favorite no-calorie sweetener. Sucaril, it figures. There is no unanimity on Capitol Hill about what President Johnson had to say today about congressional delay in the passage of his income tax surcharge bill. Mr. Johnson spoke right over the heads of the Congress to the American people, predicting that if the cuts in federal spending recommended by the Senate are adopted, it would bring, he said, chaos to the country. The President accused Congress of continued delay and procrastination, and he said the time has come for congressmen to be responsible and to stand up like men to be counted on precisely what they want to cut out of the presidential budget. Said Mr. Johnson, don't hold up the tax bill until you can blackmail someone. Some conservative members of Congress say the president's attack and the strong quality of its tone will hurt the chances of passing the tax measure. Senate Majority Leader Mansfield said he thought the speech helped the possibility of passage. Minority Leader Everett Dirksen said he hadn't listened to the news conference and therefore had no comment. House Republican leader Gerald Ford voiced his view of the president's criticism. The president, uh, by the, uh, I think, totally uncalled for language which he's using, uh, is in effect trying to blackmail the Congress. Uh, we in the Congress have bent over backwards to seek a solution to the fiscal crisis that the Johnson-Humphrey administration has brought about by its irresponsible policies. And we're trying to find a way in which a compromise between taxes and spending can be achieved. And when we find the president using this kind of language, I think it's a setback rather than a help to the solution. Congressman Gerald Ford, minority leader of the House. More than 400 military commanders of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization will begin top-secret meetings in Belgium next week. The session is expected to last two days, and its purpose has not been disclosed. The United Auto Workers meet an annual convention tomorrow. Despite reports to the contrary, insiders say there will be no open break with the AFL-CIO, at least until after the November elections. On the New York Stock Exchange, the volume 16,060,000. The Dow Jones Industrial Average up 1.85. If you think a dollar isn't what it used to be, spend it on Campbell's soup. Times have changed, but a dollar will still buy 17 servings of Campbell's bean with bacon soup. And that's a lot of soup for the money. Thick with meaty pea beans, flavored with smokehouse bacon in a rich husky broth. Campbell's bean with bacon, less than six cents a bowl and mmm good. If you think a dollar isn't what it used to be, spend it on Campbell's soup. The Indonesian government has returned to the Union Carbide Corporation, a battery factory that had been nationalized under the Sukarno regime. It was the last of the United States property to be returned to its rightful owners since Sukarno was ousted. Members of the Communication Workers Union are expected to finish balloting on their new contract by Sunday, and it's believed they'll be back on their jobs by Monday. They got increases totaling nearly 20% over a three-year period.
The Marble Air Show, the final portion, continues after the latest from WBBM Radio's Radar Weather Command. Partly cloudy and cooler is the word for today. High of 59 to 64, but it will be and is already cooler near the lake. For tonight, partly cloudy with a low of 43 to 48. For Saturday, partly sunny, little temperature change. High of 59 to 64, but again, cooler near the lake. The outlook for Sunday is mostly sunny and a little warmer. Current temperatures at 2 o'clock is 49 degrees downtown Chicago, 70 in the northwest suburbs, 65 in the southwest, humidity at 52 percent, winds are east at 13 miles per hour. The next scheduled news at 2.58 here on 78, but bulletins at any second on the station where you hear the news first. WBBM News Radio 78. WBBM Chicago. Do you have a drinking problem? Does too much coffee bring out the twitch in you? Get away from that drinking problem with the getaway drink, Icy Lipton Tea. It's the getaway drink, Icy Lipton Tea. Just one glass of that brisk Lipton flavor gets you away from too much coffee jitters, gets you with the cleanest taste on ice. The getaway drink, Icy Lipton Tea. All right, we're ready for the final portion of the Malibu Airs show, and it's the final uh, swap shop that we'll have in the Malibu Airs show, so it's an opportunity for you to call in. This first portion of the program, by the way, is brought to you by Walgreens. Walgreens, where your dollar buys more. Our number is Mohawk 49000. Mal, as he probably explained to you in the last segment of the program, is long gone now. He's taking the rest of the afternoon off, and when we begin again on Monday... I'll be with him, and I'm happy for that opportunity, but it will be a completely new concept on News Radio 78. So this is, for all intents and purposes, the final swap shop that you'll hear. And if you have something to buy or to sell, our number's Mohawk 49000. There are certain things you can't sell. I think cars are one of the no-nos, uh, guns, and that's about it. But if you uh, violate the rules and regulations, we'll holler at this end. So go ahead and place your calls to Mohawk 49000. We'd like to know, of course, what it is you have to buy or to sell. We want to know where you live. Uh, we'll need a phone number and what section of the city, really, rather than, say, an address and so on. So let's get right to it, okay? Mohawk 49000 on the swap shop. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Thank you, Tom. I have a uh, bedroom set. Uh, it's a seven-piece. It has a triple dresser with extra-large mirror, a man's chest. It's a full-size bed two nightstands, and the color is, it's a mellow-toned honey color finish. A rather neutral finish, then, that would fit in with about anything, huh? Yes, yeah. yes. All right, how much are you asking for this? Well, I imagine it's, uh, they can buy it either with or without the mattress and the box spring. Okay, but the other... I, the... I don't know, uh, approximately 200 About $200. Asking yeah. 200 we'll yeah, say. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very nice set. All right. Uh, uh, Tom, I also have other items, if anyone is interested. In fact, I have a headboard, a new headboard for a single bed. I have some, uh, I have a beautiful lamp for a table. Well, they can have a look at those when they show up for the bedroom suit, All okay? Right, we're, we're supposed to limit it to one item, as you probably know. Well, I thought since this was the last, you'd go. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Now, Tom. where, where uh, oh, do you I'm live? So what section sorry, of the city? My number, 764. Mm hmm. One. Three three oh. Six seven six four one three three oh. Yes, I'm so excited. I forgot the number. <laughs> All right, what section of the city? It's north. North. All right. Let me double check the phone number once again. Seven six four one three three oh. Yes. Seven piece bedroom set. Yes. Very good. Thank, Thank you for your call. You. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Mohawk four nine thousand as we pick up that next call. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Oh, thank you. I have a bird cage. It's uh brand new. We had the bird a month and he died, so it's brand new. It's a uh, brass plated steel body with black enamel top and stand. Mm -hmm. It's 49 inches high, 12 inches wide and deep. We paid 16 for it. I'd like 10 or best offer. And I also have four boxes of bird seed and gravel I'll throw in. Get everything with it. Why not, why not go out and buy another bird? Well, that's what I thought you'd ask me. I just uh, don't think I better. <laughs> Didn't I just really don't want to. <laughs> okay. All right. What section of the city do you live? Southwest. Southwest. And could we have a phone number, please? Yes, 236. Two four three three. Okay, two three six two four three three for a birdcage. Right, thank Fine. you very much. Thanks for your call. Bye. Mohawk four nine thousand. Another call on the swap shop in just a moment. 
tenderness and sweetness and loving care. That's what you received through the years from your mother, of course. Now it's time to remember all of that on her Mother's Day with a Mother's Day card by American Greetings. You'll find the, the perfect card in the large and varied selection at Walgreens. So come in today. Choose the card that sends so many tender thoughts to that very special person you call mom. It's like sending a kiss through the mail because its individuality of American greeting cards expresses your feelings and your gratitude, your heartfelt love. That's true whatever age mom is, whatever age you are, from a youngster to a grown-up. And American Greetings also has Mother's Day cards for grandmother as well. Choose yours today at your nearby Walgreens. It's a card by American Greetings to remember someone too nice to forget. This portion of the program has been presented by Walgreens. We're ready on another call. Our number's Mohawk 49000, and we're involved in the swap shop for the final portion of today's Malbal Air Show. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Uh, hello. I have a swing and combination gym set with attached six-foot slide for the backyard. It has two swings with the air-cooled seats, a pony glider, and it has a strong two-inch tu tubular steel base. Mm -hmm. Was you only used one season, it's in like new condition, and with the gym set is the matching pony ride merry-go-round that revolves and goes up and down. Now you got the complete works there, haven't yes, you? Yes, I do, uh-huh. Okay, for both, huh? For both gym set and merry-go-round, I'd like to get $25 or the best offer, All and right. I will separate the pieces. Okay. Both were bought at Sears, and it's one of their best sets. Very good. Well, this is the season for it. You should have no trouble getting rid of that. Thank you. All I'm right. On the northwest side. Okay. Uh, two eight three, o five six four. Two eight three o five six four for a complete gym set. Thank you. Thank you for your call. Thank you. We're on Mohawk four nine thousand, and it's the swap shop as we pick up our next call. You're on the air this time. Hello, Tom. Yeah. I have for sale a seven-piece beautiful French provincial bedroom set. All right. It's a cherry wood, but the trim is white, antique white and gold trim. And extra large pieces. Large frame mirror, a chest on chest, a nine drawer dresser, a three drawer nightstand, one twin bed only. It was my daughter's room. See, I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> and we sold our home, we got all this for sale. A sort of spring and mattress, all the best quality, and all extra large pieces. The set cost is over eleven $1 hundred dollars. We'll sell it for three hundred twenty-five. Fast sale because the house got to get vacant. We also have oriental rugs and all kinds of beautiful furniture. All right, now let me ask you: uh, Do they have to buy the whole set, or can they pick yeah, some of these pieces? No, I know I can't because I got to get it out of here. Yeah. Okay. Three hundred twenty-five. Your asking price. Yes. <clears throat> Pardon me. What section of the city do you live in? Northwest. Northwest side. And could we have a phone number, yes, please? Yes, please. Uh, four six three. Mm -hmm. Six zero oh, nine four. Four six three six zero nine four. Four six three six zero nine four. Four French. Well, thank furniture. you. Good luck. Fine. Thank you. Yeah. Mohawk four nine thousand. Our number. Another call on the swap shop in just a moment. Shopping bulletin from Sears. Today through Saturday, you can buy a famous cold spot refrigerator freezer combination. It's complete with automatic ice maker for just one hundred ninety seven dollars. Because this is such a remarkable offer, let me repeat it for you. Sears says you can get a big 14 cubic foot refrigerator freezer combination, including an automatic ice maker, for less than $200. The refrigerator section is 11 cubic feet big, has automatic defrosting. A separate freezer section will hold over 100 pounds of food. And with the automatic ice maker, you'll never run out of ice cubes. All this for just $197. No money down with Sears' easy payment plan, but do hurry. This $197 offer on a cold spot refrigerator freezer ends on Saturday. That's at your nearby Sears store. Used to be when a girl wanted a soft drink, she had to put up with cola coloring, caffeine, and six spoons of sugar. No more, no more, no more. Like is the only the first and only soft drink just for girls. Here's like the feminine refresher. Here's like a bottle full of pleasure. Like is the first refresher made just for girls. No caffeine or coloring, six spoons of sugar in. These weren't made for girls. Like is the first refresher made just for girls. 
This is Tom Clark from Al Belair's in the final portion of today's Mal Belair's show. We're off on a swap shop, which will be our final one under what we call the old talk format here at WBBM. I'll be telling you more about the new format in the latter portion of this segment. In the meantime, we have a swap shop. If you have something to buy or to sell, give us a call on Mohawk 49000. We're ready now for our next call. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I have a green runner. Uh, I a would green like what? To, a, a, a green runner a, oh. uh, to be used in a hall, you yeah, know. Yeah, right. And... Uh, it, it's uh, it's clean and it's in good condition. It, it's a woolen runner and it's uh, fourteen and a half feet long and twenty eight in inches wide. Mm-hmm. And uh, my uh, my phone number is Alpine One O Eight Two Two. Alpine One O Eight Two Two. Yes. Well, what section do you live in? I live in. Uh, I'm I'm not north. I live in Wilmette. In Wilmette. Yes, okay. and could I say one more thing? I'm handicapped, and I'd like to get in touch with a lady who could sew and, and shorten dresses. All right, well, if there's a lady listening who might also be interested in a rug, seems to me you two can do business. Uh, well, thank you so very, very what much. What are you asking for this rug uh, at a price? Oh, I, I would I, I would like $20, or, 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 but I will take the best offer. All right. Uh, but, you know, whatever they think. I'd like $20 if possible. And the number again is Alpine 10822. That's correct. Fine, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Mohawk 49000 as we pick up our next call. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Yes, I'd like to sell a GE electric dryer. Okay. I'm asking, uh, well, about 55 or the best offer. All right. How old a dryer is it? Well, it's about a year and a half or so. Oh, well, not too bad. Would you say it's in good condition? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. No oh. scratches or anything. Very good. All right. Now, where do you live? I live on the northwest side. Northwest side. And a phone number, please. 384-3076. 384-3076. Three eight four three zero seven six. Yes. We'll see what happens. All right, fine. Thank you. Thanks for your call, Mohawk four nine thousand. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Yes, I have a brand new Weber grill for sale. The uh, retail price is fifty dollars. I'm sorry. What did you say it is? A Weber grill. Okay. And uh, I want forty dollars for it. Asking forty dollars. It's never been opened. Never been opened. Very good. That's a good buy for somebody then. My, what do you... num- my number is five three seven seven eight four one. Okay. And I live in northwestern suburbs. Northwest suburbs. 537-7841. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Our number again, Mohawk 4-9000, as we pick up a next call for our swap shop. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Yeah, I want to buy a toolmaker's toolbox complete with all tools. Want to buy, okay. Yes, sir. You want the complete thing now? Absolutely. Toolbox complete with tools. What specifically are you looking for now? Well, I'm going back to the tool room at 66. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Now, uh, what do you think you ought to be paying for something like this? Oh, it all depends how red it is. You can buy them any old price. Yeah. They run pretty high. The okay. telephone number is 736. Okay. 5496. 5496. What section of the city do you live on, sir? Northwest. 736-5496, northwest side. That's it. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Mohawk 49000. Another call now. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. I'd like to buy uh, two girls' bicycles, a 26-inch size. Okay. And uh, one's for my daughter and one's for myself. <laughs> oh, yeah? Go get a little exercise then, huh? Gotcha. <laughs> I don't blame you. A lot of people are doing that these days. Oh, more and more in our neighborhood. Yeah. So, now, do you want them both the same size? Both 26-inch uh, inch size. Mm-hmm. Okay. And could we have a telephone number, please? It's 766-8281. All right, and, and that's in Bensonville. In Bensonville. All right. They have strict laws about bicycles in Bensonville. Well, you have to get them registered. Get them registered, and I suppose you have to have the uh, light if you're going to be oh, out at yeah, night and so on. Oh, yeah, to be out at night. Yeah. Okay. Thank Let's you see if we much. can get some exercise equipment for you. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> bye. Mohawk four nine thousand. You're on the air. This is Tom. Hello, Tom. Yeah. Yes, I would like to buy a combo organ. Okay. I live in Bellwood, and my number is 544-3326. Give me that once more, please. 544-3326. And you live? In Bellwood. In Bellwood. All right. Combo Oregon. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye. Mohawk 49000, this final segment of today's Mal Belair show, is the Swap Shop. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Good afternoon, Tom. Hi. Hi. We're looking for an old-fashioned school clock. Uh... An authentic one, not not these uh, the new replicas that they're making now. 
and uh, they can call me. I'll give you my business number at Lakeview 5 3040. Okay, and what is this, downtown? Uh, this is on the north side. We live in Skokie. Oh, I but see. They can call me at this number now if anybody wants to reach me. Okay, an authentic school clock. Must be authentic, huh? Right. Okay, Lakeview 53040. All right, sir, thanks for your call. Mohawk 49000, another call in just a moment. You want to know something fantastic? The new Culligan automated electronic water softeners don't have timer clocks. No timer clock? Go on. All automatic water softeners have timer clocks. Not since the Culligan breakthrough, they've invented a new sensing device. Just like a refrigerator senses the need for cold, or a thermostat senses the need for heat, the new Culligan senses the need for soft water. Well, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. The new Culligan recharges only when you need more soft water, on demand, like a water heater. You save on salt, you never run out of soft water. It's patented. It's called the Aqua Sensor. The what? The Aqua Sensor. Oh, like a movie sensor. No, it's an electronic sensing device. You... Look, why don't you call your Culligan man? All right. Hey, Culligan man! He'll tell you all about it. Oh, good. I think these technical discussions are just fascinating. Pat Thompson, the Culligan man in Geneva, Illinois, has been solving water problems in that area for many years. Why not call Pat today? He's listed in the yellow pages, underwater. Hey, Louise, here's a picture of a dress that ought to look great on you. Albert, you can't mean sure, that you're gonna... Sure, I can see you now in one of those soft, full skirts. Yeah. And a big, wide belt. Yeah. And those wide sleeves that kind of float, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, make one. Make one? Albert, if you knew how long it's been since I've touched a sewing machine... Now, wait a minute. It says here that the Chicago Tribune is printing a complete, ready-to-use dress pattern right in the paper this Sunday. You don't have to send in for anything. And it's supposed to be a snap to sew up. Hey, what a great idea! Right. Not to mention that it'll save us a little cash. Now, here, look at the picture. Wow! The butterfly dress designed by a boutique and easy to make, too. Huh. So, I'll make a deal with you. You make this butterfly dress and I'll throw in a steak dinner for both of us. Albert, you're on. Uh, where's my thread? Did you see my pincushion? Uh, for I a new dress to highlight your spring wardrobe, try the butterfly dress pattern, complete with Sunday's Chicago uh, Tribune. Shut up, will you? We're ready for our next call on the Swap Shop, the final portion of today's Mal Belair show. This is Tom Clark. We're ready for our next call. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello, Tom. Yes. Uh, we have an adjust-a-bed backrest with a foot platform to sell. All right. It opens out to a Williams position, you know, that's like the sh uh, shape of a W. Yeah. And uh, we heard of it through a friend who eliminated severe back discomfort for sleeping on it the last two years, and we purchased it for my uncle who was out of town, and before we could get it to my uncle, he passed away. It's brand new. It's never been used. We paid $66.95 for it, and we will sell it to the person with the best offer. Okay, and it's called an adjust -a bed Yes, just like it sounds, A-D-J-U-S-T-A-B-E-D. -E okay, fine. Now, where do you live? Uh, we live on the northwest side. Northwest, and the phone number, please. Uh, 561-0271. 561-0271. Yes, and All I'm so right. glad that you're still going to be uh, with WBBM, also Mel Valeris, and that you will have a section of... Uh, magazine items. Well, we're we're looking forward to working together, and thank you for saying so. All right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Mohawk 49000 is our number. Our next call on the swap shop. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Tom? Yes. Yes, I'd like to uh, try and sell an Apache camping trailer. Okay. And uh, this has a the uh, shade canopy and a large zippered adder room, spare tire and wheel, and a bumper hitch, and Two full-size four-inch foam mattresses with bedspreads and pillow covers and so forth. Well, now, it's too bad Mal isn't here because oh. that's his line, too, and he just loves to talk about camping equipment uh -huh. and going camping and so on. Uh, why are you selling it? You well, give up camping, we, did you? Well, we, uh, our son will be leaving for service or for college. I and, see. Uh, so we're through with it now. All right. Uh, sounds like a very complete outfit. What are you asking for it? Well, it was... Uh, $765, and we're asking 400 Okay. And it was garage kept. And like I say, we made one West Coast trip and one East Coast trip, and now we're through with it, so we'd like to sell it. Sounds like excellent condition. Yes, where it where is. do you live? We live in Harvey. 
Okay, and uh, give us a phone number, please. 333-0625. Yes, and I'd like to say if anyone would like to talk to my husband, he'll be home at 6.30. And get the details from hubby, Yes. Huh? <laughs> okay. All right, thank you. Yes, thank you. Mohawk 49000. This is News Radio 78, WBBM, WBBM-FM, Chicago. This portion of the program being presented by National Food Stores. Make the big change to National. It's 2.30. We're ready for another call. Our number's Mohawk 49000. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Yes, um, I have twin boys that have uh, twin beds that I would like to uh, make into bunk beds that will accommodate a box spring and mattress. Some of the better ones will, rather than the spring, you know, the uh, exposed spring. So I like to like to either get that sort of a bed or, or perhaps these thirty-inch loungers that I can uh, swap with somebody for my twin beds. Mm-hmm. Okay, you have you. So what you're really interested in is a swap here, is that right? Yes, uh, okay. or, else, or else just the, the the bunk bed frame because I do have my own springs and mattresses. Okay, and what do you have? You have twin beds. I have twin beds, and the the, uh, the bunk beds that have to be the the uh, type that will accommodate a box spring and mattress. I see. Okay, now um, what section of the city do you live? Northwest. Northwest side. Somebody wants to swap, or you're looking for the changer overer. Yes, uh, I have uh, two boys with the desks and the two accordions and everything else, and I just have no room anymore. <laughs> Fresh out of room. Yes. Give us a phone number, would you? It's 545-3125. 545-3125. And may I say that I have an Epiphone uh, uh, amplifier used only four months that my son had with his guitar that he'd like to sell? No, you may not say that. I may not. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank you very much. Okay, thanks for your call. Mohawk 49000. We'll pick up another call in just a moment. A word about national food stores. Uh, if you've shopped national food stores before, to some degree, I'm wasting some words on you because I would hope that you would find when you shop at national the things that I have been telling you about Mal and some of the other personalities here on WBBM for, oh, better than a year now. And that is, when you go to national food stores, you can expect to find for the dollar you're paying, that food dollar that's so important to you gals, not only just a bargain, but good quality sustaining food for that dollar that you're spending. When a housewife shop uh, shops, she wants to get the very best that she can get for her money. She wants to get the most for her money, and if a bonus is in there, she wants that too. That's what you will find at national. And they don't go around Robin Hood's barn to give you this kind of an offer. They don't uh, put a lot of everything on top of it, change the prices one day and then go back to another uh, uh, 10 cents on the price the following day. The prices you will find at National are substantially low prices, day in, day out, 365 days out of the year. For example, you will find at National now ground chuck at just 69 cents a pound. If you're looking for rib steak, a 7-inch cut, by the way, you will find it's only 98 cents a pound. That's mighty good eating for this weekend. Cube steak, 98 cents a pound. How about a canned ham? Two dollars and eighty-nine cents for a three-pound can. It's something you can put aside and get it out when company comes. So it's good quality food at a low price, a price that's as low, if not lower, than any place you ever shop. And that really is the whole national story. You'll find quality food at a low price, and you get the bonus of S and H green stamps too. All the more good reason for shopping at National. In the editions of the newspaper, uh, the Chicago Sun Times of yesterday, for example you'll find some special coupons at the bottom of the ad that you'll be able to utilize toward S&H green stamps. So look for them and take them with you when you drop in to do your weekend food shopping today or tomorrow at National Food Stores. Let's pick up another call now. Mohawk 49000 is our number. You're on the air. This is Tom. Hello, Tom. Yes. I'd like to buy an old-fashioned school desk for my little girl. All right. I don't care what condition it's in. I can refinish it. And I don't care how old it is. The older, you know, the better. Yeah, they hold up. They're very, very sturdy. We've got a couple of the old uh, chairs, the old school chairs that we oh. cut down for our kids when they were very small. We still have them. Yeah, they and, really stand up. And uh, they'll be around forever, it seems like. Yes, All I right. Two if possible. Two desks. But one, at least. Okay, two school desks. And uh, where can we find you? I'm at 259-4510. Mm -hmm. And I'm in Rolling Meadows. Rolling Meadows. And the number is 259-4510. Right. But I think we'd go anywhere. Okay. Well, we'll see if we can't come up with two school desks All for right, you. Thank you. Thanks for your call. Bye. Mohawk 49000 as we pick up that next call now. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. How are 
are you? And I'm glad you're staying with WBBM. Thank you. I am too. Oh, uh, I have for sale a 23 inch a console Magnavox television. Mm hmm. And I would like to get $65 for it. And it, w it needs a little fine tuning repair. And I'm on the north side, 5700 on Ashland. And my telephone number is 728 3698. All right, now... $65. 65 is what you're asking. Yes, sir. This is not... This is a black and white set. This is black and white, yes. All right, sir. And it needs a little fine-tuning repair. And that number is 728-3698. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thanks thank for your you call. thank you very much, now. You bet. Mohawk 49000 is our number. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello, Tom. Yes. I would like... Uh, I'd like to sell my beautiful uh, shell collection and also beautiful bed spread. I have hand crochet the bed spread, which is in poppy seed uh, pattern. And it fits a double size of the, and it's, it's brand new. This is you something know. you crocheted yourself? Yeah, well, a friend of mine did it. Oh, I see. Yeah. And the shell collection, uh, why are you selling that? Well, I uh, have to move pretty soon, and uh, I can uh, I can use it because uh, I don't think I get the things done what I want to do. Can't take know? it with you, huh? You know, okay. because uh, everything went up so high, and I cannot have the apartment the way I would like to have it. See, I'm uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. working in, so... So I would like to sell those things. I have no idea what the uh, shell collection is worth and also bitch because I heard over the program about fifty dollars people asking. Okay. Now that's for what? Uh, the collection you say? The, it's a shell collection. They come from Florida and from the Philippines, you know. Okay. It's a beautiful uh, shell collection. All right, how about the bedspread? What are you asking for that? Well, I was thinking about the, the shell collection, I don't know. But the uh, the bed spread, I thought about fifty dollars. Of course, best offer then, you know. Okay. But now. it's a beautiful thing, and uh, I would like to sell it because I don't think I ever can afford an apartment with a bedroom, you know. Okay. Now, uh, what's your phone number, please? And my phone number is faculty A three zero three seven one. Give me to give it this to me again. In Hinsdale. In Hinsdale. Yeah. And give me the number once again. Uh, faculty A three or the or the three two three, you know. O three seven one. Okay, oh seven one. All right, fine. You know, Thank I you. drive for two years. That's the first time I got on. <laughs> uh, well, you just made it in time. This is the last day. <laughs> so I must be pretty lucky. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Another call. Mohawk four nine thousand is our number. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Is this Tom? Yes. Listen, I have a beautiful mirror for sale. Uh -huh. It's a five by seven, and has beveled edge. And uh, I'm asking $100 for it. All right. Now, how big a mirror is this? It's five by five seven. Five by seven. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Asking $100. Uh-huh. And where can we find you? It's, it's Rogers Park. It's 764-1413. 764 one three. That's right. All right, fine. Thank and you. And I have other things too, Tom. Okay, well, and, they can. And they call after four thirty. After four thirty on yes. that. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We'll pick up another call on the swap shop in just a moment. Shop National Food Stores. You've got a wonderland ahead of you. National goes to a lot of trouble, you know, and they do this on purpose because they figure, after all, if you don't find what you want when you go into a National Food Store, you've little reason to come back. The same applies to the prices that you will find at National. If you don't think they're fair prices for the kind of quality of food that you get, then again, you have no reason for going back. So that really is the basis of the entire operation for national food stores. For example, if you shop this weekend, you will find U.S. government inspected whole frying chickens at just 28 cents a pound. Well, that's a lot of good eating. A uh, nice Sunday dinner, fried chicken, sounds great. Or how about corn country fresh pork chops, 68 cents a pound. And the meat that you buy at National, all the way from their Colorado brand corn-fed beef, to their chicken that they're offering at a special price of 28 cents, you'll find the kind of quality control that you'd like to see in, in the, uh, well, if you were a farmer, it's the kind of quality control you'd want in the meat that you're going to butcher. But this quality control applies from the very time that this beef is selected on the hoof all the way through the processing procedure to the time that you make your selection in the meat shelves at your national food store. Quality, that's what it is. Quality control at a price that you can expect to... Well, you'll find no more lower prices consistently anywhere you shop in the Chicagoland area, or no matter where you are. So, it's another good reason when you add it to the bonus of S&H Green Stamps for making that big change to your national food store. This portion of the Malbell Air Show has been presented by National. Another call in just a moment. Time for some girl watching. Here's our Diet Pepsi theme. The 
girls, girl watchers watch, drink diet Pepsi Cola. Here's honest uh, Pepsi taste. Taste that beats the others cold. Diet Pepsi. Try it. Someone will be watching. We're on the swap shop for the final portion of today's Mal Belair show and ready for another call now. Our number is Mohawk 49000. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello. Yes. I have one old, fully illustrated book of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. It's like new, published in 1928. The size of the book is nine and a half by seven and three quarters and one and three quarters thick. The picture on the front cover is in full color. And I'm asking $5 for the book, and I also have other antiques. Okay. I live near Midway Airport, and my telephone number is 586-7966. 586-7966. That's right. All right, fine. Thank you. Mohawk 49000 is our number as we pick up our next call. You're on the air this time. Hi, hello, Tom. Hi. I'm a doll collector, and I would like to buy some old-fashioned dolls over 40 years old that have the heads of bisque or china. I'm particularly looking for baby dolls or parts of old dolls. Now, you say you want them to be china dolls? Uh, the heads have to be china or bisque, the, the style of doll that was popular over 40 years ago. Mm-hmm. And I'll pay a fair price to add some of these old dolls to my collection. Uh, do you have a very complete collection? Oh, about 25. Gee, that's great. I'll uh, yes. bet they're most interesting. Very interesting. And All I'm right. in Berwyn. Okay. And my number is 484-4897. Mm-hmm. 484-4897. Yes. Anything for old-fashioned over, dolls. Right. Anything over 40 years, you say? That's correct. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Tom. Bye. Bye. Mohawk 49000, another call in a moment. That perky sound you hear is new Manor House Electric Perk Coffee. It's brewing up the best-tasting coffee you can get from an electric percolator. Manor House Coffee. It's specially ground to work well in all electric percolators. Even yours. Get new Manor House Electric Perk Grind in the bright green can and perk up. We're ready for another call on the swap shop, and our number is Mohawk 49000. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Thank you. I'd like to sell a Seagor gas space heater. Space heater. Okay. How big a one is it? Uh, 5,000 BTU with the blower. 5,000 BTUs with the blower. Uh-huh. And that becomes an important selling point, I think. <laughs> yeah, and uh, it was it's only a few years old. We bought it for this apartment. We paid 200 for it, and I'd like to get at least 100 for it. Asking Best 100 offer. Yeah, at least okay. 100. All right. Now, where can we find you? Uh, on the north uh, west side. Northwest and, side. Yeah, and the phone number is 525-8948. 525 Eight nine four eight. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Mohawk four nine thousand is our number. This is the swap shop. Final portion of today's Mal Belair show, and I'm Tom Clark, sitting in for Mal for this final portion. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. I'm interested in a wooden serving cart. You want to buy? Yes, I would like to buy. Wooden serving cart. And if anyone would, by chance, have any interesting old dining chairs, I'm. On the market for those, too. And when you say a wooden serving cart, you're talking about the old-fashioned thing well, we used to see no, them haul out in the place? It have, have to be old-fashioned, but today you can buy many metal ones, and I just would prefer wood. Okay. It doesn't have to be terribly, terribly old. All right. Now, do, you're not particular as to the type of wood or anything, as long as it's wooden? Yes. and Well, I would like a fairly sturdy one. That's my only preference there. And old-fashioned chairs that and they happen old, to have. old, 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 the better... The older, the better for the chairs, though. Dining room chairs. That's right. Mm-hmm. Okay, where could we find you? Uh, 966-3648. Okay, what area? We are in the Skokie area. In the Skokie area, and it's 966-3648. That's right. Thanks okay. so much, Tom. Thank you. Mohawk 49000, another call. You're on the air this, Tom. Pardon me? Yes, go ahead. Oh, yes. I have a white floor-length wedding dress and a floor-length veil with a headpiece. Mm-hmm. And it's size 12 or 13, and it can be worn in the spring or summer. And I paid um, $360 for it, so I'd like to at least get 100 Okay, now listen, I thought that uh, wedding dre- old wedding dresses you were supposed to save and recut them down or something and make new dresses out of them or no, get them. No, this one's too pretty. <laughs> it's too pretty to cut down. Okay. All right, now you're asking how much again? I'm asking $100. $100 asking price, and where can we find you, please? Um, in Glenview, and my number is 
724-4280 in Glenview. Yes. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye. Bye. You get some strange things, don't you, from time to time here on the swap shop, a wedding dress, old-fashioned dolls somebody wants to buy, somebody wants to sell. One book, King Arthur, fully illustrated, asking $5. A little bit of this, that, and then some. Let's pick up another call. Mohawk 49000 is our number. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello. Anybody there? One more time. Hello. Okay, we'll pick up another call. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Yes, I have a high-rise. It's like a couch with the bed that pulls out. Uh, either two twins or a double bed, you know, can be made either way. Mm -hmm. And it has the custom-made cover for it. In addition, several pillows, you know, oblong and a round and a square. All pillow right. to match the cover. Now, you're selling the whole thing as a That's sort of a right. set? That's right. Okay, how much are you asking? $40. $40 for the complete set. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you give us a number, please? Three. Uh, no, it's, uh, wait a minute, three, eight. Three. Three, eight, three. Five, four, three, seven. Okay, three, eight, three, five, four, three, seven. In Oak Park. In Oak and Park. And just tomorrow. I won't be home this evening. Okay, call tomorrow. That's right. All right, thank That's, you. You're welcome. Another call in just a moment. Salt, pepper, and season all. That's the new flavor trio for your table. What does season all do? Well, just what the name says. It seasons everything. Steaks, the chops, fish, roasts, turkey, duck, seafood, tomatoes, cheese, eggs, vegetables. Seasonal adds a zesty kind of flavor, a special zing to just about every food, be it plain or fancy. And it's exclusive with McCormick. For a little excitement at mealtime, you keep seasonal on your table along with the salt and the pepper. McCormick brings you Salad Supreme, too. It's a unique seasoning you sprinkle on. It's called Salad Supreme because it's supreme for salads. Simple? It's an exclusive McCormick blend of luscious cheese, just a hint of garlic, and imported spices that really spark the color and flavor of your favorite salads. It's versatile, too. Great for sour cream dips and baked potatoes and scrambled eggs. Starting tonight, you may never eat another salad without McCormick. Salad Supreme. Another call, Mohawk 49000 is our number. You're on the air. There's Tom. Hello? Yes. I have a Roper gas range. A Roper gas range it's for sale. Double oven for sale. Double oven. Double broiler, six burner. Okay. It uh, works as good as new. All right, how old is it's it? About fifty dollars, and it's several years old, but it works like new. Okay, you're asking about fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Or exchange it for a uh, refrigerator that I need, a GE refrigerator I'd like. Okay. In a large. All right, now where can we get a hold I of you? I have other numerous uh, miscellaneous uh, household articles. Okay, what's and, your number? Uh, number seven four three eight nine one one. Okay. That's Sheldrake Street, 8911. 743 8911. And what area? North side. North side. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mohawk 49000 is our number as we pick up that next call. You're on the air. This Tom. Yellow. Anybody there? You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello? Uh, is this Tom Clark? Yes, it is. Oh, for goodness sakes. I just dialed and I got you right away. Well, yeah, you sure did. It sounds like it's almost impossible. Uh, Tom, I have some Wedgwood game plates. Okay. Uh, they're uh, supposed to be worth $25 a piece. I have seven of them, and I'll sell them for twelve fifty each. Okay, now, Wedgwood's pretty expensive, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah. Right. Uh, these have a fish on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, uh, where can we find you? It's uh, on the far northwest side. Okay. And the number is 545 6209. All right. 545 6209. That's right. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Mohawk 49000. We'll be right back. That perky sound you hear is new Manor House Electric Perk Coffee. It's brewing up the best tasting coffee you can get from an electric percolator. Manor House Coffee. It's specially ground to work well in all electric percolators, even yours. Get new Manor House electric perk grind in the bright green can and perk up. Speed Queen, the washer and dryer with a silver lining. Switch to Speed Queen quality for the cleaner, speedest washing down. You've heard us tell you often about the stainless steel, the lifetime guaranteed nickel stainless steel in Speed Queen washers and dryers, and that's true. 
You've heard us tell you about the new and popular durable press clothes that you're now buying for your family. I've let you know how Speed Queen washers and dryers are programmed to better clean and care for your durable press garments than any other washer or dryer you'll find on the market today. You've sent cards and letters saying just how great the experiences have been with Speed Queen washers and dryers over the years. And that's all true. Speed Queen makes and their great dealers sell the very best in the home laundry line from the lowest priced model to the very top of the Speed Queen line. Decorator colors, you bet. Complete control of every cycle, of course. And dependability, dependability over the years that has made Speed Queen the name to look for and buy when you need a washer or a dryer. We're not going to have any more time for calls today because I want to just explain that this is the last Mal Belair show under the old talk format on WBBM. On Monday, I'll be joining Mal as co-host. Co-anchorman would really be a better term for a full hour segment of the new all-news format of WBBM News Radio 78, a four-hour segment. For the many of you who have listened to Mal's program over the past several years and have called in and listened to the many experts and interesting people on the program, I do want to sincerely invite you to stay with us. I'll be doing most of what we refer to in the business as the hard news. Mal will continue to bring you interesting segments of the world around you, the varied subjects, the guests that were your favorites. He'll continue to be interviewed by Mal, plus a host of experts and other people who have something to say that you have not heard before. So I believe you'll find it most interesting, and I can give you no real introduction to it, but on behalf of Mal Belairs and myself, may I ask you to join us Monday. I think you'll like what you hear. Our segment will begin at 11 a.m., 11 to 3 p.m., here on WBBM News Radio 78. Hey, voice, offstage voice. Right here. What can I do for you? You're so smart about Carson's suburban stores. What can you tell me about their hours? Everything. Any particular store you have in mind? How about Eden's? 9.30 a.m. to 9 p.m., Monday through Friday. Saturday, 9.30 to 5.30. And Hillside? Same as Eden's. Randhurst? 10 to 9.30 weekdays, 9.30 to 5.30 on Saturdays. Evergreen? On weekdays, 10 to 9.30. On Saturdays, 10 to 5.30. So what about Chicago Heights? Monday, 12 to 9. Thursday and Friday, 9.30 to 9. Other days, 9.30 to 5. And Aurora? Same as Chicago Heights. So is Woodmark. Okay, but how's the parking? Plenty of parking space at all Carson Suburban stores. Just one more question. How can Carson's get all that merchandise in all those suburban stores? You got me? Aurora, Chicago Heights, Edens, Evergreen, Hillside, Randhurst, Woodmark. TV Radio. Does a working mother really give enough of her time to her children? This is Dimension on Mother and Child. I'm Martha Wright, and with me is Dr. Milton I. Levine, clinical professor of pediatrics at New York Hospital Cornell Medical Center. How goes it with the working mothers these days, Dr. Levine? Well, a great many mothers today are working, probably more than ever before. Some because of the need to work financially, but many because of careers that uh, uh, they've learned. Many more women are educated to the, uh, these days uh, in professional ways. I'd like to bring myself into this after this word. Mum Cream is the cool one because mum leaves your skin free as the breeze by fighting the thing that actively causes perspiration odor, not by stopping up your pores. Mum is the cool one. Never too hot for mum cream. Many working mothers probably feel a little guilty, I imagine, not giving full time to the children. Doctor, do you think they should feel that way? Well, it's uh, generally agreed that if a mother really loves her child, no one can take her place in bringing up the child. But this still doesn't mean that a mother who works can't uh, still be the primary influence in her child's life. I have always worked because of uh, my career. That actually came before my marriage. And uh, except for one or two short exceptions, such as when I was in The Sound of Music, which required a 12-hour day because I also had a radio program, I have actually had a part or a better of every day to spend with my children. But that's uh, that's unusual, isn't it, Doctor, to have that much time away yes, from them? Yes, uh, but uh, I think that 
there's no need for a mother to feel guilty if she has a career in which she's in which she's occupied and particularly if the meaningful hours in the child's life she's there uh, uh, when the child's taking supper maybe bathing the child being there when the child goes to bed being there when the child wakens at night devoting herself to the of course answer. one of the big questions is the help problem and it's a definite one these days if someone who works for you doesn't maintain a reasonable discipline, do you think that would hurt the children? I think it would, and I think that if a person has someone taking care of the child, they should talk to them and see that the child, that they at least try to keep to the same type of discipline that you have at home. Children react badly to two standards of, uh, of discipline. And you know, of course, every mother knows that children are constantly trying our authority and seeing how much they can get. Of course, it is good for a mother to have an outside interest, isn't it, Doctor? Oh, yes. I think there's no question whether it's in a career or something else, so she has some time to break away from the problems of home. Right. Well, I feel that my children need a lot of me now, and fortunately, I do have the time for them, I'm happy to say. We'll be back in a moment. The flock in the south breeze. Steady, steady. Hi, John. Is this the duck blind? For heaven's sake, aren't you scared of a whole flock of mallards? And don't stand in front of my shotgun like that. I can never prove it was an accident. Where is the coffee? In the thermos. And I brought two cartons of coffee red. Two cartons? All I want is a dash in my coffee to take the bitterness out of it. Well, I brought some cereal and fruit, too. Coffee rich makes everything taste better and has less calories. I know, I know. And it costs less than cream and stays fresh in the refrigerator for three weeks. Where's Tick? Who's Tick? My retriever, the dog. He was asleep in your bunk, and I didn't want to disturb him. Why aren't you shooting, John? There's a dozen ducks sitting right there in front of you.